everybody hello how's it going everyone thanks for hanging out with us on a monday i know there's probably like football on or yes. baseball or basketball or something more exciting than this but we appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> we figure we haven't done a live stream for a while so we wanted to just come on and answer any questions about japan kind of tell us tell you guys about like our amazing trip that we just got back from yeah, I'm seeing everybody in the chat. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It's been a while. Yeah, when's the last time we did a live stream? Yep. I always ask this every time. I'm like, when was it? I think the, it was like in September. There's a bear in Kitra's hair. <laughs> yeah. No? Mm -hmm. there, there is. Not? There is. There was. In, in the thumbnail. In the thumbnail, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I could put it on right now. You could. Um. <laughs> what do we think? Like he's like, I think you got to see it from behind because you see his like little like yeah, you can see like his full body. Yeah. So I otherwise, it just looks like it's like his head. I bought this at Tokyo Disneyland, and let me tell you, they had some good stuff there. <laughs> the, 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 the merch was amazing. The merch was awesome. We could show you some of the merch that we got. I, I yeah. brought a couple of bags out here, but I didn't bring all of it. And most of it is stuffed animals. So I don't know how <laughs> excited you guys would yeah. be to see that. But if that's something you want to see. Terry says, did you run into Molly, Alan, and Max? No, they were there. Like they got there a little bit before us. And I think they, they did their Disneyland part first. And we did Tokyo first. And then we kind of like swapped. So yeah. unfortunately, no. And we are friends with them, but not like we're friendly friends we're, we're not, not fr friendly well no no i i would say that we're yeah, yeah. not we're good enough friends like that we didn't know that they were going to japan at the same time as us yeah <laughs> or else we would have yeah arranged something. something but like we, every time we see them we like hang out for you know, yeah a bit. that would have been cool if we could have gotten together yeah but it was a jam-packed trip let me tell you yeah uh <laughs> do you want to read this one sure i got my glasses on Something is in my eye. Hi, I love your videos. We're cruising the wonder out of Melbourne, Australia. Australia. Yeah. Ooh, so the Disney wonder. January, can't wait for chicken fingers in the pool. Would you recommend? I do not recommend ch chicken fingers yeah, in the pool. Yeah, don't that's, do that. You'll probably get in trouble. She made that up. That's not how that you. That was a real story that he told no, me. No, it wasn't. So wh whoever you want to believe. I was saying that you, you eat the soft serve in the pool. No, he told me. Or in me, the hot tub. He it, told me that there's a no. swim up bar in the pool where you no. could get, you could order chicken. No, I I would get the soft serve and I'd go in the hot tub, which is not something you're supposed to do, but like. Well, I've drink and drank, yeah. drank, yeah. drinks in the hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> too. <laughs> um, would we recommend Paulo brunch? I would say if you've never been to Paulo. Dude, Paulo dinner. Personally, we like dinner more, but brunch, I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Brunch was amazing. Um, but I like the, Paulo dinner my way only more. negative with the brunch is like. When you're on a cruise, you eat so much. And we were full. Like, we had, like, I forget what time. It wasn't, it like, 10 a.m. or something that we went there. And, like, we were literally full all day. Yeah. So, it, you know, it kind of ruined my appetite for the rest of the day. But it was delicious. But we like dinner better. So, yeah, long think, story short. Um, our man says, now that you're, you've been to Japan, how would you compare slash rank the Disney Park's favorite park? Well, first of all, Ooh, the God, parks in Japan. Hard. I'm not ready for that. Parks question. in Japan, so much better. Well, it, it's literally like this is this is what happened. I'm going to reenact what happened. <laughs> there was a meeting, the Oriental Land Company and Imagineering. That's who owns Tokyo Disney. And they went to the Imagineering, and they're like, "You have unlimited money to make the best Disney park ever." And Ad Imagineering is like, "We're going to make the best Disney park ever." And they made yeah. Tokyo Disney Sea. Yeah. So, what would you rank them? Disney Sea, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rank the rest of them. <laughs> so Disney Sea's first, and then everything else is behind. Yeah, it is like Disney Sea is like here, and then everything else is like starts down here. I don't know. I'd say Disneyland, regular Disneyland's right. Better than Disney Sea? No, but it's oh. Walt's original. Magic oh no, Kingdom. it's awesome. Yeah, but it's awesome. It's great. Disneyland's great. But Disney Sea is like so incredible. I will say this hot take. I liked Tokyo Disneyland. I liked the rides and I liked some of the foods and shows and stuff. Yeah. But as a 
and I liked the parades. <laughs> so I liked a lot. I liked the characters. I liked the, I liked everything, but as like a park, it's not my favorite park. Yeah. Tokyo Disneyland. Well, Tokyo Disneyland. Okay. I'm going to reenact the meeting for Tokyo Disneyland. This is what happened. <laughs> so imagine like, you guys want to make a park. What, what do you want? And like they, they hand them a menu and they're like, oh, we want this ride from Disney World, but we want this part of the ride from Disneyland because it's better. And you're going to combine them and then put this other thing that makes it better than both of those. Yeah. And it's basically the Magic Kingdom, but like everything is like the best version of it. Almost everything. I would say that Big, Big Thunder is bigger, better in, at Disneyland, California. Yeah, that's probably true. That's just personal preference, though. But, oh, my God. Their version of Splash Mountain. Well, first of all, they're the only park that still has that ride. But it is the best version. Mm. And we couldn't film it. Yeah. But we luckily, we were allowed to film a lot, a lot of things. There was only, like, maybe three things that we couldn't film. I was expecting going there. I had heard these horror stories. Or not horror stories. But I've heard, oh, Tokyo doesn't let you film on stuff. Mm -hmm. Doesn't let you film places. Um and a few days before we arrived, they actually changed the rules on a lot of stuff. Wow. So we got really lucky. Yeah. But yeah, we asked every time we went on a ride, we like point at the camera. We're like, eh? they're like, yeah, go for it. Yeah. But there were certain things like Tower Sometimes of they would Terror. give you like, they'd be like, yeah, no they'd camera, be like, no. no camera. Um, so Splash Mountain was a no. One of the shows was a no. And then Tower of Terror was a no. I'm trying yeah. to think what else was a no. Whenever I edit those videos, I'll figure it out. And then sometimes it'd be like, I'd be like, can I film it? And they'd be like. Uh, no LCD. And I was like, I'll be on here. And they're like, yeah, fine. Yeah. Cause we That's have like, a camera with like a, a viewfinder. Yeah. So it's so. not like a bright screen. Oh, and it'd be like yeah. no flash, no flash, no, L no LCD. That makes sense because yeah. those screens can get bright. Yeah. They're very like considerate. They're like, a lot of the shows, like, they ask you to take off your headband. Like, if you're holding your phone, you can't hold it any higher than, like, your face. Like, we were in the tiki room, and I think I had it like this. And then, like, they came over to me, and they were like... <laughs> and I was like, oh. And I, like, was so embarrassed. I was like, I'm sorry. Well, that's the good thing about our camera. I literally brought our A7S III, which has an eyepiece, because I didn't want to bother anybody, because I had heard, like, mm -hmm. they don't like LCD screens. So, literally, when I was in a ride or something, it was this or i was in a parade okay well that you look like mike kwasowski when you're doing that yes but <laughs> w what i'm saying is like wait, i wasn't what are you you're connected to yeah the, uh, so i wasn't um wait, it's connected to the yes thing. i know oh i know, I know. <laughs> oh is it yeah. supposed to be yeah oh but what i'm saying is like it was never i had to like raise it high in the air or anything it was always connected to my eye oh yeah yeah well yeah so that was like i was like worried about that um you give us details with car service you use from the airport to the hotel. Yes. We use this app called Kluke. Kluke is an app that you can buy tickets to Disneyland. You can buy tickets to some stuff we did. Uh, you'll see in the next video, we went to Shibuya Sky. Oh, is that how you bought the tickets? Yeah. Uh, Tokyo. Uh, and it's an app that you could have on your phone? What's the, or the is it just museum a website? thing? We, the, uh, team, uh, team Lab Planets? Yeah. Yeah. So. Which, oh, my God. I forgot about that. That was fun. Yeah. So it, it download Clue. Clue is very helpful. Yeah. But you can do also, Uber. Like there we, is Uber there. Yeah. It's just expensive. Yeah. But also the train system is very easy. We only got lost once. <laughs> or I mean, we took, we got off at like the wrong stop. Like yeah. the train went too far and we were like going the wrong direction. We, we, forgot, like, to oh. take the, yeah. we forgot to like take the connecting train. Or we just didn't understand that like we had yeah. to get off. Anyways. A lot of people um, say take the train from the airport to where you're going. And honestly, we... We were going to do I that, but we, next we just time didn't want to. I might even do that. Yeah. Because I'm now comfortable. But like back then, I was like, we had three roller bags. We had two backpacks. Well, the trains, they get packed. Yeah. Like there's almost like not a point where they're completely packed and you're standing there. So that might have been difficult. But I think if, when we go back, because when, I mean, we don't have anything booked, but <laughs> mark my words, we are yeah. going back. We um, didn't do a lot of we stuff. We didn't do a lot. There's so much that we, I, it was like so sad because our first full day there, I was already having FOMO, even though I was there, I was having FOMO. Yeah. I was like, when we, we go up to this like observatory and I was looking out like at the city and I had such bad FOMO. I'm like, oh, I'm never going to like, we're not going to go over there. Cause it's so big. Like there's just so much that we didn't get to do. Um, so we'll be back. 
we had basically four full days, not including our travel day. Is that correct? Uh, we had three. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, we had three full days. We basically massively underbooked how much. The problem is we had dogs, so we didn't want to leave them too long. Then we had our. our yeah, you hear that, Gizmo? You're a problem. <laughs> we had kidding. our patio <laughs> roof problem thing. So we couldn't leave too long. So we, yeah. Yeah, so. Well, we weren't even really going to do Tokyo. Like, it was just more of like a, we were like, oh, we might be jet lagged. It'll be a good place to kind of like lay low for a little bit. And then we did not do that. We like filmed every single day. We were go, go, go. I don't remember when we said that. Um, I think we said that, that for like a that second. That was the original plan. No. And then we looked at it and we were like, oh, we're not going to have any time to do Tokyo. We should like add a yeah. few more days. And then, um, but we did like, we did get some downtime when we were at Disney. We didn't film like every single day. We did go hard a lot of the days, but I think we had like a day where we just kind of, it was nice. Wait, I love yeah. filming, but it was nice to just yeah. like be there and not be filming. Kim is asking, thank you so much, Kim. What is each of you guys' favorite souvenir? Glad you got to finally Ooh. go. And I bet you're already thinking of a return trip. So a lot of my souvenirs, well, Peter has, he already knows what, oh, is that why your phone is? Okay, I yeah, get it now. I can, uh, okay. I can connect my phone. This is uh, the new OS, lets you connect your phone and then, wait, let's see, let's add us. There we are, look at that. So. Wait, what, this is a new feature on the iPhone? Yeah, it's not wow, connected. Wow, that's cool. Um, so vending machines in Japan are amazing and the ones at disney are all themed yeah so i got these like mystery boxes of all these different vending machines this one in uh he, Tomorrowland. that was a cool one yeah and then, i mean they're uh, all so hard to pick a favorite but peter actually does have a favorite or do you my favorite it, maybe might be this one by indiana jones yeah that look at cool. that it has hands i didn't even realize that yeah and then uh they this was like where was in, that one Frontierland, Western Land. Western Land. They don't have a Frontierland. So yeah. they have Western Land. And then I bought a bunch of magic stuff. Uh, I'm not going to kind of show all that, but I, it's literally, literally like a young kid magic toys, but it says Disney. <laughs> I don't know. I've never owned anything that's like Tokyo Disney Resort magic. So I bought a bunch of magic stuff. I bought some cards. Um, I, don't, do? I don't have anything prepared. I'm sorry. Uh, here's a pair of ears. These are Mickey, the Mickey chicken sandwich. And then like the hamburger ears. Yeah. So cute. Um, I'll have to, you'll have to come back to me because I, I just like back to you. grab two bags and they're like full of just like stuffed animals. So I, I don't know. Okay. Um, oh, wait, wait, let me show this while you're, you're doing your thing. I got this book. I got this. Uh, are you going to do the magic trick? Wait, so this is celebrating the 40th. <laughs> year of Tokyo Disney Resort has been open for 40 years. I bought it. I was so excited to look at it. And then I opened it and all the pages were blank. Oh my God, really? And then I was like, okay, I'm going to fix this. I went bam. And then all the pages. Whoa. Were filled, but they're black and white. <laughs> oh so yeah, I was it's like, supposed to be colorful. Bam. And then. Whoa. Good thing you fixed it. Good thing I that fixed it. That would have been bad to come home with an empty book. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Some, a cast I used member? to have one of those when I was a kid And I, I love it I well, love that it's a Disney It's like a Tokyo Disney book you know There was I mean? like a magic shop there And one there was cast members that were just performing magic For kids and then us And like they d literally did that trick to me And I was like oh my god <laughs> I was like that is amazing They were like okay like, Disney food blog was also there. Yes, we didn't run into AJ, mm -mm. but we were messaging back and forth about like stuff. Yeah, sad. Like she like messaged Kitra with some uh, like pictures, some, check. Cu some cute dog. Oh no, she said, she's like, is it weird that like, <laughs> she's like, I didn't want to message you like with a butt check. Like I thought that might be weird. And I was like, no, you should have. <laughs> but yeah, we, we were kind of like, I felt like hours behind her because we went to like Don Quixote and like she had sent photos of to you like right before we yeah. got in there she was like you need to get this like cheese bread and i was like that's so weird i got i got it yeah. like before i saw her message that's in our next video which is i think coming out tomorrow yeah. um someone asked if i got anything at the nintendo store i did let me find it real quick i'm gonna answer there's a super chat here except for the rest of the japan vlogs so glad you guys were able to go also i love always hearing oa mentioned on shane dawson rylan vlogs <laughs> 
know. I'm a little behind. I need to listen to the recent podcast, but yeah, we haven't had time. To, yeah. But yeah, we're basically best friends. So no worries. <laughs> Anyways, I got these Chippendales and they're in their 40th anniversary, like outfits. Do you want me to show them? But, yeah. Hold this on. is important. Uh, there they are. There they are. This was a must. And they came as a pair. Like I bought them as a pair. Yeah. By so, the way, show how much they were. So, so these were 36,000 yen or 3,600 yen. So that's about like 20, these, I think 21 are, or $22. Yeah. These, yeah. I feel like that might be a little bit pricey for stuffed animals. Okay. Show like headband then. Or well, wait, this those doesn't are, have a price tag, but these, oh. all of the, the Mickey ears there are like literally like 13 bucks American. Or I think they were like 1,800 yen or something, yeah. I want to say. So that translates to... Right now, the yen very cheap. is like very much in our favor. Yeah. So I also got... You don't need to use your phone for this, but I got some Mickey soap mm -hmm. because that like started there. And this one has a Mickey handprint. Yeah. So this one is, yeah. is different. You can go boop. And yeah. then you have the yeah, so it's like the same thing, but it's I feel like it's easier to do this yeah instead of the one that you could buy in America, like you have to use it normally. And we could just refill that yeah, so we don't yeah yeah. I should have bought more than one. You don't need to buy more than one. We could just literally use the yeah, one. I that need Disney one for one. every room in the house. Uh, oh yeah, you should yeah. <laughs> so I didn't buy that much stuff from Nintendo, but I did buy a few things. Okay, let me um. <laughs> let me add. Oh wait, no, that's not what I was trying to do. Okay. Sorry. Where are we? Up, down? Okay. Yep. I bought this um, coin purse because you use a lot of money there. Like they have a lot of coins. So this. So here in America, like coins are for anything under a dollar, but yeah. there it's like anything under. So you could put anything in here. It doesn't have to be coins, but I love it. But has like, like 500 a little, yen is a coin. Yeah. Thing. It has a little Mario and then it has like a clip. And I was like, oh, I'm going to use this while I'm here. And then I like forgot to use it while I was there, but whatever. And then <laughs> I got an Animal Crossing sleeping mask. <laughs> what else Surprised did I you get? haven't used that yet. I know. Oh, and then I just got like a mug. Did I buy a mug? Oh, yeah. I bought like a, a Zelda mug. Oh, the hearts. Yeah. So when it gets hot, like the hearts turn red. So when you drink it, that's you, you lose bought. your life. There was a lot. You'll see in our video that's coming out tomorrow, we show the Nintendo store and there was a lot of stuff, but a lot of it was like stuffed animals and stuff. And I'm trying to like... I just have no room, so I'm trying to, I was trying to, but I regret it because they had like every single Animal Crossing character as a stuffed animal that were like this big and they were so cute and I regret not getting them, but it's okay. It's fine. The little Pikmin were the yeah, cute Yeah, it's fine. Me. It's fine. Um, why were there so oh. many Disney vloggers there at the same time? Coincidence? I don't know. I think it was just pure coincidence. Well, I think... Yes, Quince. the weather, it was a good time for weather. You don't want to go to Japan during the summer. It is like hotter than Orlando there during the summer. So I think a lot of us waited. Well, that's why we for, waited. Yeah. One of the reasons why we waited. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that was what happened, but I could be wrong. Um, okay, we have a lot of chats here, so I was going to try to catch up. Um, thank you, Maddie, for the super chat. Appreciate it. Ali says, it's okay, get just an excuse to go back. That's true. Um, Fish says, girlfriend and I need to know what exactly is a butt check. <laughs> oh, I feel like we need to do another Q&A video so we could have this so could, so people don't ask. Because I feel like I get random DMs that are like, I don't get it and it's weird. And I'm like, I know, but okay. So the basic butt check backstory. So I... I like cute things. You guys know that. Uh, growing up, my parents had corgis, the dog. I always had a trio of corgis my whole life. And I liked their little fluffy butts. And that's how it started. And then corgis started to gain popularity. And now they're like a hot commodity. <laughs> Don't tell Gizmo, but we almost, you know, he was almost a corgi, but then we went Pomeranian last minute. Um, so I would just like see cute things and like cute, like Peter got me a mug one year for Christmas that said, what did it say? Cor like Corgi butts drive me nuts. Yeah, corgi butts drive me nuts. So it's just like this weird inside joke of whatever. Well, I think also like Japan kawaii culture, they yeah. love butts, which yeah. is why you see like... Yeah. Like, it's so like cute. I, I don't know how it started though. I think we were just somewhere, I think... 
I, Whenever we'd look at like stuffed animals, you'd or be like, like we'd go to Target and like we'd look at Christmas ornaments. Like I think at one time I was like looking at a Christmas ornament, like on a video, and it was like a cute little stuffed animal. And I like turned it around, and Peter was like, "Are you looking at his butt? Like, is that a butt check?" This was before that. Was it the video game, the board game that we did of Batman? You looked at like um, I don't know why. Bat. I'm weird. Yeah. I don't know. So it just like evolved. And we used to say it a lot more in the videos. Now we don't really like sometimes we do. Um, but on Instagram, like people will just like DM me or uh, tag me on like their stories of like random butts on things. And it's just funny. I don't know. Magic City Adventures asks, is Japan big people friendly? I want to go, but wor worries me. Uh, yes, but there's an asterisk. We didn't encounter any rides that we couldn't fit in or had a problem, but we also didn't go on the roller coaster. The only thing that was a little tight for us was the Monsters Inc. ride at Disneyland. But I think, that's, still, I think that's tight for a tall person yeah. as well. But I think this is the thing you're going to encounter. Even if you're not um, a lot bigger, if you're extra large t-shirt size, which I think is, I think a lot of people in, United States are probably like large or extra large, right? Yeah, we weren't able to buy any clothes there. <laughs> like, at like Disney. their large yeah. is like a medium US, and that their and that's as high as it goes. goes up to L. Yeah, I think it goes up to LL, which might be like an extra large, but even that is like a small. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of sad because there were so many cute like sweatshirts and shirts and stuff, and even like at the Nintendo store, there was like a, a shirt that said like Nintendo Store Japan. And I just knew it wouldn't fit me, so I didn't buy it. Um, yeah. Maybe I should have bought it, and then if I lost weight, I could have wore it. But um, Yeah, that was the only disappointing thing is I, I usually, when we go on trips, that's what I usually buy as a souvenir. I buy a t-shirt. There were so many cute shirts at Tokyo Disney. And Kitra usually buys a mug. Mm -hmm. And the funny part is there at Disney, the mugs are like, are like hobbits. They're like hobbits. They're very small. <laughs> there were some like bigger ones, but I was just like, oh, I don't need another mug. But now I kind of regret it. <laughs> Like this morning I was drinking my coffee and I was like, oh, I wish this wasn't a Tokyo mug. Um, Coke Fantastic says, my wife and I watch all your videos. Would you ever make a super cut up every time Peter has said he's going to serve something? Well, I think that would be impossible at this point. But if you go back on our channel and you search for our, our 150,000 subscriber celebration video, I actually... Went, it's like an hour long video and I went back and that is one of the things you find out. It's the not an hour and a half of me. Doing no, 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 no. Yeah. Like it's a bunch of different clips, but like you find out the origin of like the first time Peter said it. And then I put like a bunch of clips of him saying in it, but that was how long ago was that? Like two years ago. So like it, there's a lot more that could be in there, but it's actually really funny. And I think I even like did um, chapters in the video so you could click and like find it if that helps. I forgot to un... But, like, I really need to start making, like, a list of every time we have an Ordinary Adventure star to, like, have record of it. <laughs> but that would take so long because I don't do it. Oh, uh, Maddie says, I'm so lame. I forgot to type my message. <laughs> it's fine. A bunch of people do that, Maddie. Uh, when can we expect the next vlog? My friends and I want to have a watch Aww. party. Well, the next one's coming out tomorrow. Um, and then we're taking a little break because we're going to be doing some uh holiday events. holiday events two holiday events you hear christmas has started yeah christmas is already here um so we're gonna have our tokyo video and then we're gonna have a, two holiday events and then next the week after this week so next week we'll have the rest of the tokyo videos we usually like to post like two videos a week if we can one or two so yeah this week there'll be three <laughs> and a live stream Oh, this is a good one. As someone a little overwhelmed by Japan, now that you've gone, what would you recommend to prepare and not feel overwhelmed by language barrier and cultural differences? We were so overwhelmed. I, there were so many times we tried to plan a trip and mm -hmm. we stopped because we started doing the research and like it seemed too complicated. It seemed scary. It seemed how are we going to communicate? How, even getting hotels at Disney is kind of mm -hmm. super complicated. So what would you say? Well, I, to be completely honest, I was having, I had like a panic attack the night before we left. I had to like 
calm myself down. I had to take a bath. That's what I do to relax. I had like, I don't know. It was just like, I couldn't control it. And I was so stressed out that I got a cold sore on my lip. So like in our, all of our videos coming up, like in Japan, I have like a cold sore on my lip because it was from stress. And then it like never went, it's gone now. Um, but I don't know. It wasn't, it was the first night that we landed. I felt like I was still a little bit overwhelmed, but I feel like we got it really quick. Like the train, everybody, like I watched so many videos and they're like train system. Like it's kind of like they scare you because mm -hmm. it seems so complicated. You got to get a Stuka card or you have to get whatever. Where do you get that? How do you do this? Mm -hmm. How do you transfer stations? Literally you just map it up on Google maps yeah. and it tells you what platform to go to, where to get off, what exit to take. That's very important. You need to know. Google which maps and Google translate were our best friends. Yeah. Download the Google Translate app and you can literally just hold your phone up or take a picture and it'll translate the best that it can. Sometimes it's not like completely accurate, but it, you get the gist of what it is. So that was very helpful um, with like ordering food and stuff. Whenever you're in trouble, I will say that there's a lot less Japanese people that speak English than I thought there was going to be. Mm -hmm. I even thought there wasn't going to be a lot, but there was less than that. Like that like... Felt like I could communicate mm -hmm. in a real way. But we would just go on Google Translate and I'd put, say, you know, well, uh, how do I do this or whatever? And I'd show how it to them. How do I get to this train? And they yeah. would be like, yeah. they'd we'd communicate somehow. Yeah. So it was very easy. Everyone that we encountered was very, very nice, very helpful. Everyone is just so happy there. Like, seriously. Like, and so polite and so like well-mannered and just like considerate of like their fellow human. It's just was definitely a culture shock because, you know, we're from America and people, they don't do that here. Alyssa says, did you study any Japanese before you went? Could you get by with English? We didn't study any Japanese. And I felt like because of the apps, because of the smartphone, mm -hmm. we were able to. Yeah. I just, you know, konnichiwa, arigato. Yeah. Thank you. If you say thank you and you kind of like bow, they understand and they say thank you. Um, I mean, facial expressions and like when someone would do something nice and like you being like, like, you know, like yeah. you just be really happy, like being like five times your expression, I think mm -hmm. translated it. Yeah. Um, Laura sends a super chat. Thank you so much, Laura. My siblings and I love your channel. Wondering if. You're considering any cruises out of Europe or Asia in the future. We don't have anything planned, but that's definitely stuff that we'd like to do eventually. I mean, that Disney ship they're building. Oh, yeah. Probably that, that. We'll hopefully do that. But we were looking even like to do like a Greek cruise earlier yeah. this year. We didn't end up doing it. We ended up doing the magic cruise instead out yeah. of Miami. But yeah, that's definitely something that we want to do. I met like some fans of the channel when we were in Japan and they were like, they were having like the most epic like vacation. They were like, we're here at Tokyo Disney. And before this, we're at Shanghai. And then we're going to Hong Kong. And then we're going to hop on a cruise and go here, here, and here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. You guys are like. Yeah, I don't know how. Oh, my God. It was like this older couple. I was like, you guys are living my dream when I'm a little bit older. Uh, random recess Leaving is my here. dream now. <laughs> says, we, we, we were wanting to go next year for the opening of Fantasy Springs, but also want to take the train to a bunch of places. Oh, yeah. Um, you're going to need a lot of time. But the other thing is, like, I don't. I want to go to Fantasy Springs so bad, but I'm so scared. I've heard so many, like, horror stories about the heat. Oh, Japan, yeah. And from people that live there. So this isn't, like... I think we'll go. I just don't know if we'll go in the summer. We'll probably go, like, in October again if we win. Yeah, but the other thing you need to know about Disney is the fans there... Oh, they're hardcore. They will they run in. hardcore. The and moment I'm talking run. Yeah, they will show up there at 3 a.m., wait for rope drop, rope drop, run in to get front row for the parade that doesn't happen until, like... 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Yeah, so I can't, they don't mess around there. So I can't imagine what a new land <laughs> it's going to be like. Yeah, it's going to be crazy, but it looks awesome. Yeah. And they're opening up, like, a new hotel, so it would be fun to stay at that hotel if we could. Myra's here, says your troop. Hey, Myra. Your trip uh, makes us dream of being there. Thanks. Oh. That's so nice. I feel like, I don't know, I have the travel bug now. Like, I've always had a travel bug, but now I'm like, oh, where can we go? I want to go somewhere fun, <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. 
We we have. We're just gonna um, go back to Orlando. We have, no, some, we, we have some cruises coming up. <laughs> That's true. Oh yeah. I, I want to do Paris. Like when we saw our friend yeah. Mouse Vibes go to Paris, like that made me want to do Paris for sure. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I want to do China because there's all that stuff opening, and then I want to do Dubai. There's a lot of cool stuff in Dubai. Yeah. Oh no. We want to go places. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll figure it out. Um. Did you guys go to Don Quixote? We did. You'll see it in our next video. We did. That was. Did we answer when the next video is coming? I think I said that it comes out tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, have you seen the latest Epic Universe progress? Yes. It looks epic. That portal we can't wait. into the dark universe looks um, incredible. Yeah. That's going to be so much fun. I can't wait for that to open. Like we were j like joking, but kind of serious. <laughs> we're probably going to move to Orlando for like a month <laughs> or two when that opens just yeah. so we could. Cause like if we're there for like a few days, like you're not going to be able to see everything. You're not going to be able to eat everything. So we want to go for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> Will that get too repetitive? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we went to Tokyo Disney. We were there for like eight days. We weren't in the park for eight days. I forgot how many days we were. Five days. Five days? Yeah. And I feel like we did, we didn't even do all the rides. Mm -hmm. And we definitely didn't do all the food. Yeah. Well, there was so much that we didn't see. So I feel like. We were new, there for so long. I would think Universal that we would have seen it all. Yeah. You wanted to like review all the food. Oh, no. The thing about Epic Universe, though, is there are a lot of roller coasters. So hopefully there's more to do than roller coasters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what Disney cruise would you recommend for a first timer? Disney cruise. Um, for a first timer. I honestly think the wish. Really? That's yeah. like the most expensive one. Well, I guess that's. Well, yeah, maybe like a four night on the wish. Yeah. I don't know. If you could get a good deal. I mean, the older ones are older, but they're so charming. But I feel like they're lacking in a lot of the features of modern cruising. If you look at rail or the way. Well, my first ever cruise was on the Disney Fantasy. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'd never cruised before. I didn't know what to expect. I'd never had an interest in it. I didn't know anything about cruising. That's almost like 10 years ago. Well, not 10 years. That like was 2018. Seven, seven. So I can't do the math. Wait. Was it 18? Yeah. Seven. So uh, seven years ago? Seven. Wow. Was it really that long ago? No, like six. No. I was like, how long have we been dating? We know. talk about this every every live stream. I'm like, <laughs> somebody do the math for us. I don't know. Um, but I loved the Disney fantasy. Yeah. So if you could do just like, I would say definitely for sure, try to do one where you go to Castaway Key, which is like their private island. It'll change your life. <laughs> it's, wow. it's so great. Um, okay. We have our man. Do you want to read this one? Sure. You'll have to return to Japan when they open Fantasy Springs. I know. Also, hopefully you can visit Universal. Yes. Yeah. We were kind of sad that we didn't get to do Universal this time, but like in the moment, it would have just been too much. We were so tired. Like we went hard every single day and I think that would have killed us. Like we, yeah. <laughs> in the best way possible. We didn't have enough time. We yeah. knew that if we went to Osaka, we'd want to explore Osaka. We'd want to... There's so many things that we didn't do that we want to do. So I think we're going to go back hopefully next year. <laughs> Provo Spark Passes says, I'm sorry, Kitra, but Gelatoni is better than Duffy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Duffy is my favorite. But listen, I love Gelatoni too. I love them all. Uh, Sarah says, Kitra the nails. <gasps> Sarah, I was thinking of you. I just did these like right before the live stream and I was going to send you a picture of them because <laughs> they're like the extra short ones. I like him. Um, Christopher, thank you so much. Language barrier in the parks or no? Yes. Yeah. And also a lot of the menus are in Japanese, but it's very easy to like get the translate app. That's something that I was not expecting. I thought all the menus would be like in English too, but they're, they're not. I thought honestly that almost, I thought that a lot of people in the parks would understand English, but that's not. Mm -hmm. But fine. there are some, I mean, yeah. you, you get, it's not difficult though. It's, I felt like once we got to the parks and the resorts, I felt more comfortable. Like not that we weren't comfortable in Japan. We figured it out. 
Well, I feel like it was not to interrupt you, but I feel like it was good that we did Tokyo first. Yeah. As opposed to doing it the other way around. You know what I mean? So we like got to see the real deal and then we went into the Disney bubble. Yes, definitely. Um, what was this? Uh, I enjoy your content. Love your backdrop. Have you ever or will you ever do a tour of your home? Would be great for the collectibles. Our home is. Um, we've gotten this question a million uh-huh. times. There was a point that we were thinking about doing it, but our house has been under construction for like four years. Literally. So it's what you see right here looks okay. But if you want, well, I, I shouldn't even say that. Um, but yeah, not anytime soon. Not until our house is done and then we clean and then we like redecorate and then we could do one or not redecorate, yeah. but like clean up. Drew's here. He says, were you in Tokyo Disney? Were, were you in Tokyo Disneyland when folks were dressing up in costumes? Yes. Cosplay? It was it incredible. Was, it was insane. And it kind of stinks because like we didn't want to just be filming random people. So we didn't really show it in the videos, but like, if I didn't really show it, we didn't show it. Yeah, we didn't show <laughs> it. Um, but the month of, I think September and October there, like you have full permission to go full costume. And I'm talking like you could show up as Darth Vader if you want and they the, won't care. Yeah, the, these are not the costumes that you see at Oogie Boogie Bash no. or Mickey's not so scary. It Halloween. was so cool. You would see, a woman in fantasy land that looked like Belle and I was convinced was the character. And then she turned around and the only way you could tell the difference is that she was uh, Japanese. Yeah. It was so cool to see like, the, like they, like I said, they go hard there in like the best way possible. And they're like, there was people wearing full on like Donald duck, like outfit with like the, like that you would see in the park, like with like a butt, like a duck butt and like duck feet and like the tights, like in the yeah. beak. And I'm just like, oh my God, the dedication. And it was kind of hot even uh, that day at least. Um, and I, I was like, how was... are they in that? Yeah. I think it was just hot when walking around, yeah. but it was never hot there. Yeah. Um, it was always a very nice temperature. Wait, uh, before that, I wanted uh, Kate. Do you want to read this one from Kate? Sure. Was Shandu everything you wanted and more? And how much Duffy merch did you get? Okay. So for if you guys don't know, we talk about it in the video whenever. Listen, we have a few more Tokyo videos and then we get to Disney. So I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait. But there is a ride there called Sinbad. What is the Sinbad something something? Voyage. Uh, Voyage. Whatever. And one of the characters is Shandu or Shandu. Not sure. Um, but it's a little... I don't have my, I'm too lazy to go get it, but it's a tiger and he's so cute and they sell like merch for him and I love him. And that was like one of, that was a first ride that we did. He's the cutest. And we loved it. And we, we rode it like literally 10 times. It was so amazing. What was the other part of her question? Sorry. Uh, how oh, much, how much Duffy merch? A yeah. A bag full. We do a, a whole Duffy video that you're going to see. And I saw how much. Like at one store of the Duffy stuff, it was like signing or it should give the credit card. And it was like 250 yen. I was like, what? Or not 250. Yeah. Two that. What is that? 2,500? No. Yeah. Yeah. But like they had all these keychains, like these Duffy keychains. And I had to buy every single one of the friends and there's seven friends. So that adds up. I'm not just going to buy one. <laughs> so like, that's where the prices, like that's where the total went. Sinbad storybook voyage, uh, was most vibes. Number one ride when they went really, me to tears. Oh my God. Yeah. That was the first ride that we did. I'm surprised because they're Ashley's usually about the turn up rides. And it's like, I feel, is that a turn up ride? No, no I think, but yeah, that was that ride was amazing, and um, I could still hear the song in my head. Yeah, Ugh, it's so good. Uh, I want them to make an animated movie based on the rides in Bad. That I think would, be, it would cool. be amazing. Uh, Julie, thank you so much for the super chat. Says um, we adore you both. My son Xavier started collecting droids since Peter's collection, <gasps> and he oh now has- my goodness, five shelves. Thank you for both making the video so exciting. That is, I only have one shelf. Wow. Actually, technically, it's two next to each other. We've got droids everywhere in this house. Yeah, that's They're true. not just on the shelf. <laughs> well, uh, that's so yeah. cool, though. Yeah, that that is cool. But we did run out of room on our shelf. Yeah, we you, need a bigger shelf. You should uh, take a photo of his collection and uh, tag us on Instagram. Yes, do that. Yeah. 
Um, did you go to Universal Osaka? We did not. We just didn't have the time to. It was funny on our final day, or not our final day, but the day before. I like was like, we could take the train there. It only takes like three hours, but then we just didn't because I feel like that would have been just been too much. Random recess says, USXL is the equivalent of Japanese three XL. Oh my god, you're so far behind. Yes, I'm behind. Oh my I'm god. not that far behind. Oh. Okay, Definitely I not. thought they said that like literally 25 yeah. minutes ago. Oh, no. But, um, and you will not find 3XL at, the, you'll find LL. You'll find, do you mm-hmm. think it's extra large? And John, John says, now Peter needs a mini <laughs> vending machine shelf. I do. <laughs> you should just buy a tiny shelf. If they sold more like, of these, I, w- I would buy. Put, it's like a shelf that's like literally just this big and you just put them. Yeah. I would support you. Yeah, I'd do it. <laughs> It's, People come th- over to our house. They'll be like, "And here's my shelf." What do you and think? They'll of be the like, plane? "Okay." Yeah. Um, did you get to uh, hang out with TDR Explorer? So funny story. We you'll see this in our next you'll video. You'll see it in the video. But we randomly ran into him uh, when we were in Shibuya, and we had plans to meet up with him. We were at Disney, and um, we just ne- didn't get to because he had yeah. like family matters to attend to, but um, it was good to see him. I, re- I told him, I like texted him and I was like, I wish we would have taken a photo together, but we forgot. Well, we thought we were going to hang yeah, out. Yeah, we thought we were going to see him again. We thought we were going to hang out in Disney and he had some family matters that he couldn't make it. So yeah, next time. Next time. Um, did you get any anime while you were there? Neither of us are big into no, anime. No, I'm not a big anime girly. I like Studio Ghibli, but mm-hmm. I wouldn't say I'm an anime f- person. What are some animes that I... Sh- my dad and my stepmom, like, love anime. And they, for, like, years, are, like, always telling me, like, you should watch this one and this one. And I'm always like, I don't I think she, like, almost it. refuses to get into anime because of that. Like, it's like... Yeah, there's so much. But if there's any cute ones that you think I'd like... Studio Ghibli, you would... Like, we've watched a couple, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, friend of Gilbert says, uh, oh, wait, no, I, I answered that one. Sorry. Uh, commie dog says, how far in advance did you have to book Tokyo Disney hotel? Three months. Was it three? Yeah, it was three and you can't book it any sooner than three months. And it's basically like a water. It's a, you know, like when you buy Oogie Boogie Bash tickets and you go onto the screen and there's like this little man walking across the screen until it's your turn to buy the <laughs> tickets. Yeah. It's that. It's Every insane. night. Or at least mm-hmm. in California time, the time that it goes on sale, you go on there and then the little man walks across the, the, the screen and then it's like your time to buy, get your hotel room. I'd go in there and I'd be and like, I just got to say, I want this hotel room at mm-hmm. Miracosta. Nope. It's gone. It's it literally all sold out. Like within. Well, that was part of the reason like when we went the time we did because we got those dates and they were like, okay, that's when we're going. Yeah. Um, but I just want to say round of applause for Peter. He planned this entire trip. He booked everything. He planned our days. He planned what we were doing. <laughs> Like you did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. And I didn't like open up that notes app until like a week before we left. She didn't <laughs> wait. Did you add anything to the list? Mm-hmm. No, I don't think I, you think, did. I don't know if I did. <laughs> he's a, he has, you know, he's that type of personality yeah, where a, he I'm likes to make a list. I'm the, planner. I'm the opposite. So, you know, opposites tracked, right? Yeah. Um, but he enjoys doing it, but like seriously props to you because you, and there, like we said, there was a lot of stuff that we didn't do, but that's just, you know, if we go back, we could do it. Yeah. I'm glad that we did plan because I w- we would have been kind of like running around mm-hmm. with our head cut off, like not knowing what to do or where to. Although I will say some of my favorite things that we ended up doing were when in between planned things, we would be walking down the street and be like, oh, let's go in there. Yeah. And then we'd find something. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So it's like. Yeah. It's a good mixture. Yeah. It's good to be prepared, but then also stray off the path a little yeah. if you want. Do you want to read this one? Sure. Uh, hi, guys. I'm so happy you got to cross this off your bucket list. I've been watching you for two years now, and I know how important this was for you. Oh, yeah. You. We've been wanting to go for a really long time, a really long time. So it's I'm proud of us that like. I don't know that we did it. And like, like I said, I had anxiety until the night before. <laughs> And we did it, and it wasn't that bad. Like, it was very easy. Like, I was just proud of us. Yeah. 
It was all thanks to Peter's planning. And, and now that we've done it, I feel like the now that the like gate is open, I mm-hmm. want to go back. Like, yeah. I want to go back. I want to travel more. Like I, I feel like I was so scared of the yeah of just everything the language barrier. The and I was like, I'm. I, I said to her one day when we were there, like one of the first. I was like, I felt. I feel so stupid that like yeah. we, we like talked herself out of like going so if anything i hope that we could be inspiring to people who are kind of like nervous about it or whatever like i feel so much more confident after doing it like i feel like we did it and i know it's just like whatever we traveled somewhere but it was a big deal for us and we did it and i'm proud of us jarger bougie's here it says yo 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 love the galactic star (gasps) cruiser video and the japan adventure keep up thanks jar jar you want to talk about the galactic star cruiser video yeah, so this is something I, I think I've talked about in a, a previous lives. It's something I've wanted to do for a while, and I kind of felt like now that this experience is gone, I was like, I want because we have eleven, eleven. We have a lot of Star Cruiser videos, and it's just like <laughs> they're good video. I, I am the most proud of our Star Cruiser videos. I think out of a lot of the stuff we've done, but it's eleven videos, and how do you convince anybody? Any sane person to watch 11 yeah, videos. It's a lot. But it's like if someone wanted to see what the Star Cruiser was, I wanted to consolidate it down to like a manageable four hours is still a lot. A lot. But I wanted we to We tried to get it under. Yeah. We just could We it, That was as short as we could get it. I mean, I asked people on Instagram. They're like, we still want to see the food. We still want to see the music. We still want to see. I like it because I feel like it's like a yeah. complete. I mean, it's not complete because there's stuff that we you, we just didn't see. That's the amazing thing. Even though we covered kind of like the four main things, there's mm-hmm. still so much that we didn't show. Yeah. But I'm proud of Peter because Peter edited that one. I mean, it was all previous videos, that he, but he arranged it and he put some new footage in it. So if you haven't watched it, check it out. I know it's long, um, but I was proud of it. It took him like a week to do. Two and like in yeah, week. like a week and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like... I was just proud of him because I was like, I knew it was something that he really wanted to do. But like, I was kind of like, okay, if this is something you want to do, like you do it. <laughs> so, you know, I was yeah. doing up, I was editing other videos. I was like, you do this, I'll do my thing. And then like when I sat down and I watched what he did, like I was just so proud of you. It was so good. Yeah. I'm proud of the final thing. It, w- it was kind of like, it's so interesting and like, oh, if you cut this out, this won't work later on. So you need this thing. Mm-hmm. And it, it's much more intense. It was more of like a documentary than like what we normally yeah, do. I feel like it's something like I've said this a million times, but like one of the really cool things about our YouTube channel for me is like having these memories to look back on. And that's like something that's like it's came and it's gone and we documented it. And like now for like the rest of time. We could go back and watch it. You know what I mean? 20 years from now, we could be like, remember the Star Cruiser? Yeah. And we could, you could click on it and watch it. So I just think that's really cool. Yeah. But I, I, I say if, if you haven't seen it, um, I would say watch the last like 10 minutes. Yeah. The last 10 You'll minutes cry. shows some footage from like the, one of the last voyages with some of the cast saying their goodbye for the last time. Mm-hmm. And it, it's, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it will, it will. It was emotional. It was just. I feel honored that we got yeah. to go as many times as we did. I know that sounds like yeah. bad, but like the fact that we were there on like not the final voyage, but the one right before it was just. It was yeah. a once in a lifetime experience, and we got to document it. And it's just a cool thing to have. Yeah, we're also fortunate to be in the position like we don't have this huge family, and we don't have like so literally like we're bunking with friends in yeah. like one cabin, so it becomes like. I do affordable. regret though my one what? regret bunking with Reza. Yeah, I regret that too. No, Reza's a, oh. a great. Oh, no, never mind. No, yeah. <laughs> Reza, you're not watching, are you? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I really wanted to stay in the bunk bed on the final thing. Why didn't you? Because my ankle mm. and like I toss and turn at night, and like sometimes I have to like get up and go to the bathroom, and it like. I was on the top bunk and I didn't want to like wake people up and fall or, you know me, I'm yeah. a klutz. So, but, um, so that's my only regret. If I could go back, I'd like to just suck it up and do it. Yeah. Stay in the bunk bed. I mean, I, I love pizza. Thank you so much. Says Google translate helped the most with all the high tech bidets. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. By the way, they're in every restaurant. And there's so many buttons. I thought it was just going to be like, your hotel no, everywhere everywhere that was this is gonna sound gross but like literally one of my favorite things about japan was the toilets because like we'd just be out like 
shopping, whatever. And they'd be like, hold on, I need to go to the bathroom. We'd find a public restroom. And it would be like, you'd go in there, the toilet would be heated. It would be clean, spotless. Like it would smell good. There's like a little button that you could push that like plays like privacy music. So it sounds like a babbling brook and like birds chirping. And then one of them even had like a thing that sprayed like, uh, Oh, really? Like bat, like deodorizing, like yeah. spray, like bathroom spray. So like you could just be in there like doing your business, push the little like babbling brook, push the little spray, just like, and they, every bathroom had like a shelf where you could like, like a big shelf where you could like yeah. put your phone. your phone and then they had a shelf behind you where you could put like your backpack or, or they had hooks or whatever. Um, oh God, it was just so nice. Reza says bunk for life. Reza's okay. here. Reza, I was just joking. It was just a joke. Reza. 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 Uh, Cammy <laughs> says, uh, thanks so much, Cammy. So when is the Paris trip? <laughs> uh, I would like to go to Paris. I'm not going to lie. I would like to go to Paris. We, have, we don't have anything planned yet. We don't have anything planned. Maybe, maybe we could do it next year. We need to figure out like when a good time of the year is to go to Paris. Um, yeah. But yeah, that would be, I think Paris would be a lot of fun because we could kind of do the same thing we did with Tokyo. We could spend a few days like in actual Paris and then go to Disney and we could yeah. even go visit my dad who lives in Spain, who's yeah. been bugging me forever to go visit him. You do it. Yeah. Uh, David asked, did you go to any 7 Eleven? If so, what did you get? David, you have to wait like, like, uh, 12 hours. Yeah. Our video, it, you'll see us going to 7-Eleven. Yeah, so our, our video that comes out tomorrow, we went to 7-Eleven. It wasn't the original plan. We were planning to go somewhere else, but it was... It was closed. We were planning to go to a place that had the Japanese the fluffy pancakes. They're like... Yeah. These, like, thick pancakes. We got there, it was closed. Yeah, and we had places to go, people to see, so we didn't have time to wait. By the way, we had so much stuff on our list. Someone just asked, like, did Peter eat sushi? And I had sushi on our list, but, like... We had so many things planned that it just didn't work out for Somebody whatever asked reason. That Thirty minutes ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm just joking, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, we didn't get to. We didn't even. I didn't even get to eat ramen. Spoiler alert. Yeah, we. We didn't know how badly the jet lag was going to kick our butt. Yeah. So there was like. A lot of the nights we went to bed early. Yeah, I went to bed at like 9 p.m. Yeah. and like we weren't hungry. Like we ate during the day or whatever, or we had like an early dinner and then like we just weren't, we're like, okay, let's go to bed. <laughs> um, this guy, Jeff asked, do you have a video listing your camera vlogging gear? I love your channel. We don't, but if you go in the video description, there should be like an Amazon link that has a bunch of the equipment we have used. Mm. Um, I, apparently the Olympics are in Paris next year. Oh no, that's probably Ooh. a bad time to go. Well, we should figure out what that is and go before, right? Did we get a popcorn bucket? No, we didn't. But we did try a lot of the popcorn. And we did get other another popcorn related item that you'll see in our video. <laughs> um wonderfully normal is here. So the next non Disney cruise should be Western Mediterranean. You can hit up <sighs> Italy, Spain, France all in one shot. Yeah. That That'd sounds be cool. That sounds great. I wanna do that and then I also want to do the other side and do Greece. Yeah. Uh, Magic City Adventures. Thank you so much. What's better, Disney Florida or Disney Japan? I don't know. It, it's tough because you That's have tough. Four, you have four parks, and then you have two water parks, and then you have. Disney I would Springs. say the food is better in Florida, but like. <sighs> Maybe it's, I've been to Florida so much. The only thing that's comparable is like Animal Kingdom is kind of like Disney Sea and like in terms of theming. A little bit, yeah. I don't know. That's too hard. Don't make me choose. But like Florida has Disney Springs and I'm going to tell you the downtown Disney in Japan was not good. Well, the thing is if you travel there and you make a trip out of it and get to go to Tokyo and some other stuff, mm -hmm. then I think Japan is much more worthwhile than like being at some theme parks but what uh, if you, at Walt Disney World and then exploring Orlando. <laughs> or like, what if you go to Walt Disney World and then you like go on a cruise while you're in Florida or something? Well, that's yeah, okay. I don't, I don't know. know. Don't make us choose. I can't choose. Yeah. But Japan was amazing. Um, yeah. And Japan, Dean it, says we have Florida man here. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. If Japan had four parks, I would say no question it would be Japan. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it's hard. 
After visiting Japan, do you feel like you could live there? It looks incredible. I think I could because it reminds me, it's just like a big city. Like I've always wanted to live in New York or like you used to live in San Francisco. I love San Francisco and I live there. Um, San Francisco is a great city. Yeah. My problem with, I think, Japan is I feel like because of the language barrier, unless we actually like really learn Japanese, could speak it, I feel like it would be so isolating and you'd not really like yeah a friend do you know what I mean it'd be yeah um i've reached uh i know we're going course. slow i'm sorry guys well i'm trying to you get, guys know this i'm trying to I answer know. we always try to answer like equal amount of like normal chats and super chats so i'm trying yeah. to do that but to answer your question yes i would love to live in tokyo for like a few years or something but i feel like it would just be too hard to get like the dogs there and that's what i worry about Work Maybe visa. later in life. Oh, yeah, work visa. <laughs> That's true. Um, you want to read this one? Uh, hi, work is done and I can finally focus on this stream. <laughs> I'm going to Japan in two weeks. Oh, my oh, God. Congrats. Did you have to use a Japan SIM Wi-Fi for your phone or just a phone plan? So we both used our phone plan. I have AT&T. He, you have T-Mobile? Or what do you have? Uh, no, I have Verizon. Um, and mine is... They have this thing called an international pass, and it's ten dollars a day. Yeah, that's the same with mine. Yeah, so you could use it for phone calls. You could use it for FaceTime. You could use it for the internet or for. Um, Although I got to warn data. you, I'm not sure if this happened to you. I didn't talk to you about this. When I didn't we were check there. my statement. Uh, Should I? A few days after I was over there, mm-hmm. I got this message from my international plan. It's like you've used. Up your limit of high speed, so now you're going to be no. limited to 3G uh, internet for the rest of the trip. So what, what I should have done is I probably I'd recommend putting your iPhone. There's like a setting in the thing to use like less data, so like your phone's oh. not just grabbing podcasts and stuff like that while you're like. I uh, didn't even. Yeah. Mine never gave me that message. So I, maybe it's Verizon and yours. I never had an issue. I think there was only. A few times when we were at Disneyland, because it was so crowded, that I had issues. Like, there was two instances where I was, like, trying to text Peter, and, like, it, the messages weren't going through. And I think that's just because it was, like, highly densely populated. But besides that, it worked perfectly. So if you have either of those providers, like, it was very easy. Like, you just go to at and Like, you go on the app, and you could just, like, add the international plan. And it won't activate until you actually use your phone in the country. Was it easy to get from Tokyo Disneyland to Disney Sea? Yes. Was it like Cali situation or a Walt Disney World? It's more like a Walt Disney World because you yes. go on a monorail. Yeah, they have a monorail there. Everything's very close. The only difference is it's like a paid monorail. Um, very cheap, only like a, a dollar per ride or whatever. Um, probably even less. Um, but that's the only difference. Oh, this is a good one. Um, oh, wait. I, that wasn't what I was trying to click on. It My thing jumped. <laughs> wonderfully normal says cynthia wants to know how the food was in slash out of the parks since she and peter mm-hmm. have similar palates so in the parks the food is sometimes weird interesting let's put it that way Interest. okay interesting. weird is probably a bad term um they'll be like there'll be like something that's like a pizza but then it has mayonnaise and and, corn. and beef and shrimp and <laughs> corn and tuna and oh, you're exaggerating no yeah. i'm not it, like whatever like it's like very unique yeah um but then there's also there stuff was some that like, normal stuff yeah. or i shouldn't say normal but there was some like basic stuff, stuff as well that's more tr- we would be used to from america i feel like that's the one thing that i like I said earlier, like that I would knock against Tokyo Disney versus Disney World. Like I feel like the food is better. That's just because I'm a fat American. I like my American food. But a lot of the restaurants there, there was a and, lot of good food there. Yeah, but a lot of the restaurants and snack carts literally sell like the snack carts sell one thing. So you go to the snack cart, you can't even get a water, you can't get anything. You just can get like a chicken leg. Whatever it is. And then the quick serve restaurants, you have a choice of three things. That's it. Yeah. So like there isn't So that was like a little different. And then like the three things are like interesting things like we mentioned or like uh, like a piece of sausage with like a bone in it. 
or like what <laughs> yeah. like what like just they like stick w- a bone in a sausage tree to eat the bone like, like we like literally a corn dog but it's off of a bone yeah like we went to like gaston's tavern because we're like oh it says that they have like a french toast sandwich and we went there and it was literally like two pieces of bread with like cinnamon and sugar or like french toast was it, it, wasn't really French, it was it was basically like a grilled cheese sandwich but it had french it, yeah, had, but it had like cinnamon cheese in the middle and then there was one that was like a morning cr- or it was like a croissant yeah and then i got it and it was literally like a puff pastry like with like a sausage in it with like a bone and i was like oh okay <laughs> it was just very strange all that said all that said there was the, some amazing stuff yeah, there we found some like oh, the, the iconic waffle. disney foods Oof. are all good the mm-hmm. The mochi I, is amazing. I was never like, we might have to go to like one or two places, but there I would always like find something. Sometimes like late at night when we were like looking for some place to eat, they were like, do you want to go here? No. Do you want to go here? <laughs> no. This has like one thing that could be good. Okay, let's go here. But that being said, we were adventurous and we did try things. Yeah. So it was just different. Put it that way. So if you're a picky eater, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I mean, they do have like, you can Ch- get popcorn, chicken, uh, chicken yeah. uh, nuggies in the shape. Oh of yeah, Mickey you can get chicken or, nuggets and French fries basically French anywhere. Yeah. So, and the French fries were good. <laughs> but were, there is a lot of seafood, so if you don't like seafood, I don't like seafood. But I was able to. Eat yeah, without, we were fine. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to Japan on Monday. Whoa! On, on the next trip, you need a week I of know. Tokyo and a week of Osaka. From Osaka, you can do a few trips to other major locations. Can't wait to see all the popcorn reactions. Oh my god, yeah. We tried a lot of the popcorn, but not all of it. Yeah, next time we're gonna make more time to do other stuff for sure. This trip was like mainly for Disney, and I know that sounds sad, and I know it sounds weird, but that's that's the truth. Yeah, that's what we're. Yeah, we were most interested in. Well, yeah. Anyways, um. I wish we could explore more of Tokyo. I, yeah. I, I regret not having more time, but we also didn't, we couldn't. Like I said, I had FOMO from the moment we landed. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh no, we've made a huge mistake. We should be here for a month. <laughs> and it says Peter showed Scott's the artwork and now I literally can't stop buying them. They're starting to cover my living. It's the same, same. <laughs> Just, mm-hmm. uh, Timothy, so, uh, thank you so much, Timothy, says... I actually just went to Tokyo Disneyland two weeks ago. Do you think the merch is better quality in Japan than America? Um, I think so. I think it's a lot more fun. But that being said, I feel like it's a lot more limited, just like we were talking about the menus. Like, I feel like there's a set amount of stuff, and then you see that in every store. Whereas I feel like America, there's like an excess of stuff, and literally every day there's like a new piece of like merch that you could go find. There, I feel like. You don't it, think that's there? I don't know. I felt like, well, you know, like our last couple account. of days, Peter was like, I'm determined. I want to find a souvenir. And we went in like 85 shops and they all had the exact same thing. Well, that's just being, being picky though. But I think they had the same amount of merch as like Disneyland. But like they're, they, the things that they love there are like obviously cutesy type of stuff, but they also love little snack boxes like with like different treats in them that are like gifts that you could bring f- to your f- like cookies or yeah or chocolates or instant ramen or whatever and then they also love stationery or yeah. like household goods like so yeah. there was like a duster or like a Kleenex box or like boxers <laughs> or like soap what like it was just yeah. like random stuff like that where I feel like in America it's like but it's also interesting what they're not interested in like star wars there was no merch no I didn't star see any, wars no, no marvel. marvel i feel like they're really just into like mickey and minnie and baymax and what else stitch yeah the, the one thing i was disappointed in is they don't really have like ride specific merch yeah unless you get like these they like mystery box stuff. kind of stuff yeah like they you wanted a shandu thing and you had to get like a mystery box kind yeah of. they had some shandu stuff they had like stuffed animals and like I think one of our favorite rides stuff. was Journey to the Center of the Earth, and we went yeah, into the gift no shop. there was no Journey. I mean, maybe at one point in time there was, but, like, when we were there, there wasn't. And I was so sad because, like, <sighs> I really wanted something for that ride. Shout out to Grayson. Shout uh, out. Apparently loves our videos. Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, Grayson. 
Oh, I'm trying to catch up. I'm sorry. I'm it's okay. so far behind. Take your time. It's a Monday. Nobody cares. Uh, people have to work tomorrow. Okay. That's true. Uh, this is how I zimble. Asks, uh, will you be at Grinchmas this year? I love vlogging. I hope so. We love Grinchmas. I would, you know what I would love? We're not going to have time, but I would love to do Grinchmas in Florida this year. We got invited. I Oh, to, did we? Yeah. Was remember, it for Grinchmas? Well, I mean, it was for the Christmas stuff. So oh. I think so. But remember that's yeah. like next week when we have friends in town and stuff. Yeah, we couldn't. Other stuff. I forgot about that. Yeah, and in you know, in Florida they do like a Macy's Day parade and like they have it just looks so cool and I would we've never done it and maybe next year we'll get to do it. Or maybe we'll go at a different week. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, who maybe. knows. <laughs> um um but we'll we'll try to do it here. Um, no promises, but we love it here too. You want to read this one? Sure. Thank you for sharing your experience. Seeing your video made me realize how much I want to go to Japan ASAP. Uh, Natty, Nano, and I love to see you. Oh, well, I highly recommend if you could get to Japan, go there. Don't be scared. Just do it. Yeah. Try to make it, try to make it happen. Um, we used points to book our flights. Uh, we book, we stayed at Disney hotels, which were super expensive. My super expensive, less expensive than Walt Disney World. Yeah. their most expensive hotels, like five hundred and fifty. Like, would we stay moment? at those hotels again? Maybe, but like, yeah. I, I we mainly did it because we wanted to show it in the video. I would recommend if anybody's going, unless the fifteen minutes early access to the park is important to you, and that will get you on one ride of your choice. Yeah. So maybe it is, but unless that's important to you, you could stay. There's a bunch of good neighbor hotels, like a Hilton, that are on a Marriott. The, they're yeah. on the monorail. Yeah. So you could stay at them for like $150 a night instead of $550 a night. Our trip. Even like our Godzilla been like, hotel. Would, yeah. Would have been a lot less. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when we go back, I don't think we'll do some like cool hotels, yeah. but I think like we'll try to stay more, you know, I, I wouldn't mind staying in the Hilton or like whatever. Like I don't, but I will say the Disney, wait until you see them, but the Disney hotels were cool. They're cool. They were really cool. Um, I think if we go back, I want to see the Fantasy Springs Hotel. I want to see yeah. the Disneyland Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe we'll just stay like a night at those. Right? Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, P2 asks, uh, did you guys figure out your Premiere Pro issue? We did not, but we we finished the video. Um, So I'm editing a different video now, and I'm not having the same issues. It lags like a little bit, like That's a millisecond. Oh. Um. But it was bad, and I I don't know what caused it. But I exported the video and I uploaded it, and it I haven't rewatched it, but I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah. Um, Trevor, thank you so much. Said, did you go to Studio Ghibli Museum? My family and I went in July, and it was absolutely incredible. We we didn't just we just didn't no, have time. No, that was on our list. We just couldn't make it happen this time, unfortunately. It's kind of like a day trip to do that. Um, on top of that, we can't film there there's no filming allowed uh not that that would stop us from going i would still want to go and experience yeah. it but like we just didn't have time in this trip yeah we'll do it next time um Gizmo. someone's asking what's on your shirt oh so i didn't get this at disney i actually got this from somebody that i follow on instagram an artist oh after the show i'll put it in the description Hold on. But it is all Duffy and all his friends. <laughs> okay, got it. Sorry. They're like trick or treating, and then there's like the pumpkins up there. Yeah. And I wore this on one of my days at Tokyo Disney, and um I got so many compliments from like cast members. They were like, oh, Duffy, J- like Gelatoni, Shelly May. They were like, oh, like they were like so obsessed with my sweatshirt. And I was like, I know, it's pretty good. Yeah. But um, I can't think of her name off the top of my head, but she's an amazing artist. She has the cutest Mare stuff. Bear. Mare Bear. You're right. Yeah. M-A. Let me find it. Uh, the, um, is this your Mare. first non-English speaking country visit? No, I went to Russia um, on, for a set visit for the darkest hour. Um, no, I've been to Italy and I've also been to England, but I feel like that's English. <laughs> but I've, in Italy, 
Mexico, but does Mexico, that count as- yeah, Mexico, the Bahamas. Yeah. Um, the Instagram account is called Mare Bear here. Put your yes, Mare Bear Press. Mare Bear Press. She makes the cutest things. I'm telling you, like the. By the way, where was this when like we were doing unboxings? I don't know. This would be so much easier. I know. Oh my god! We used to do it with a camera, and it would like overheat. And look at that! Yeah. How cute is that? She has the cutest stuff. Okay, we got to catch up to stuff. Like uh, a figment. <laughs> I love it. Zachary is visiting Japan for two weeks, summer twenty twenty four. Only two days for Disney. Any first time tips? Also, Fantasy Springs opens during our last day. Of the, oh, no. oh my gosh! <sighs> Get up early. That's my tip because yeah. people are gonna go hard. Hopefully, they do a soft opening. That would be ideal for you, maybe. Even yeah. then, it'll, there'll be lines. It's tough. I don't know what are what are the tips for. Download the app. Um, Here's the good news for you. Good news is this ticket right here. If you were going to buy this ticket to the Magic Kingdom, it would be 180 170 It's so cheap in Tokyo. It's like $60, at least right now, as of the exchange rate. $6. That said, save some money and use it to buy the premiere. Like to, you can basically buy a fast pass to get into like the big rides. Yeah, so like we used it for a bunch of rides like Beauty and the Beast. We used it for the parade, which I would recommend. So we probably ended up spending just as much as Walt Disney World for one day. <laughs> Maybe. But you know what? We got to not yeah. wait in line. But you, there's also like free fast pass. Like you have to download the app though and link your ticket. Yeah. It's very easy. It's in English. Um, and then every day there's like an entry pass for the shows. Um, I want to do a video explaining all that. That was stuff. like, I was like nervous about that and even that i feel like was easy yeah and i feel like we were just nervous for no reason super easy yeah yeah we should do a video like explaining or explaining the best that we can everything um sorry a lot of people saying good things about star cruiser videos thank you so much uh this is how i symbol will you be oh i read that one why <laughs> did this like or did he send it twice i, I don't, don't know. know um Sorry, I'm catching up. Mm. Sorry, sorry. I would, I feel like I... In <laughs> Dark Mac says, such a great documentation of the, ex the experience was. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We have a lot more coming. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'll, I'll tell you this, like, uh, when, when we launched the video, um, it did not do well. The first day, I think people just like Star Cruiser's not a thing that people can go to. They're not looking up to like plan vacations, whatever. Oh, I he was talking about Tokyo. Wow. No, well, he's talking yeah, about documentation. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Now I get it. Um, I was like, thank you. We have more videos coming. No, that that's kinda, not true. That kind of bummed me out a bit <laughs> because like we, you know, spent two weeks editing it and whatever. It's a long video. And, uh, it's four hours. Yes, it's four hours. Yeah. Uh, no, I get it. I Hey, listen, I get it. And a lot of the people have already watched some of our videos. So I totally get it. Um, it's just like you put a lot of work into something and you get pumped up. Since then, the watch time has just been going up. The views have been going up. It's been, no, it, it, like it has been t turning around. It's yeah. like, is it going to be one of our biggest videos ever? No. But like, I'm, I'm just happy that people are finding it. And it's like, you look in the analytics and it's getting recommended. And I by will say like 99% of the comments are all positive too. Yeah. Which is nice. Because <laughs> people are very opinionated about the Star Cruiser. Um... No ramen. What? I don't know about that. I said that I didn't get to eat ramen when we uh, were in Japan. I know. It's so sad. I was going to do it on our final Tokyo day, but I just didn't. Will Peter eat sushi on Icon of the Seas at Zumi in the park? Maybe. Probably not. Well, maybe if it doesn't have any fish in it. I might. We'll, just, we'll try it. Who yeah. knows? Um, Christopher, thank you so much. Jealous of your trip. I went to Japan once for two weeks, five years ago. <gasps> Oh, and, and I think, I think the, yeah, I think about the Japanese 7-Eleven food every day. Can I just tell you, we went to 7-Eleven every single day. There was one in our hotel. Yeah, downstairs. there was one that was like adjacent to our hotel, so it was very convenient. To no, like it was take, actually in our hotel. Yeah. It was literally in our hotel. Well, I think it was in the 
the shopping center that had the movie theater and yeah. everything else. Um, but like, it was very easy to go down there and grab breakfast, grab yeah. a coffee, grab whatever. Their iced coffee, by the way, amazing. Literally amazing. And like a dollar fifty. Better than Starbucks. Better than like, so good. Well, travel sprees here. What did Reza say? It said, we keep canceling and rebooking our Japan flight. Maybe next year <gasps> after seeing your last Do it, video. you guys. Do it. Do it. It will... It is overwhelming at first. It will yeah. test you. Yeah. But it's worth it. Yeah. I will say the first day I was a bit overwhelmed, but I was also like very jet lagged and whatever, but we, we got it quickly. And I, I like I said, I'm proud of us because I did not, I thought yeah. it was going to be difficult and it was going to be frustrating, but we did it. Um, sorry. I'm like way behind. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Mayo. The corn pizza is the best pizza. We do not talk bad about mayo corn pizza. Oh, I should have tried it. We didn't try it. We didn't try it. Um, all now the, I feel like I should have. All the merch in Paris was riot specific. No general stuff like with just Disneyland. Huh? All the merch in Paris was riot specific. No general stuff like with Dis just Disneyland Paris. Um, oh, it d they didn't have like Disneyland Paris like T-shirts and stuff like that. Interesting. Interesting. See, in Japan, it was characters. So it was like you could get Chippendale, you could get Duffy, you could get, but you couldn't get something for the like Monsters Inc. ride. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't like anything about the ride. It was about it was just about the characters. Yeah. So it wasn't like um like you know in Disneyland we can get like Haunted Mansion stuff. They had like these mini popcorn buckets like these or I mean, it's not for popcorn. Yeah. You put chocolate in it, but they sold all these like replicas of like the popcorn buckets and I bought a few of them. This is one of them. <laughs> what am I going to do with this? She sat in, in, in the, the bathroom uh, eating candy one night. Okay, so one <laughs> night... I got hungry at like 2 a.m. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, I got some chocolates. Cause like you put the chocolates in here and then you move her tail and like, wait, and then you move her tail and then like, well, there's none in here cause I ate them all. Yeah, but I can show it. I can show what it, what it is. Yeah. So you put the chocolates in there and then you move her tail. And I was like really hungry. And like, I was like, oh, I don't want to wake up Peter. So I took my bag of stuff and I went in the bathroom and I was like, doing this and like getting and i feel like it was like too noisy so i only ate like a few of them and then i went back to bed then but then in the that. morning he went in the bathroom he's like why is all your stuff in here and i was like oh i was eating chocolates at like 3 a.m he was like okay <laughs> i was like i was trying to be courteous i didn't want to wake you up <laughs> but yeah all the chocolates are gone i ate them all since then uh leia says what are you most oh looking yeah it could be a christmas ornament yeah maybe what are you most looking forward to this holiday season at disneyland Ooh, there's so much good. I good love food. I love the holidays at Disneyland. The parade. I, I always like love the parade. The past few years, we haven't really got to experience it, and this year might be the same. Um, but I just, I love it. It's such a vibe. We will. Yeah. Will we make a video? I don't know. Yeah. If we have a lot of, we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> we have a lot of Japan videos coming up. I think we have like nine more. Mm, I don't think that many. Maybe. No? Yeah, maybe. So, yeah. We got a lot of Japan videos and um yeah. But I'm I'm excited. I just I love Christmas time in Disney. It's the best. How was the jet lag? I just lost my It wasn't place. that bad, honestly. I was really worried about that because I am like if I don't get enough sleep or if I'm like tired, it really ruins like my entire day. Like it gives me a headache. I can't function. And surprisingly, when we went there, we stayed up as late as we could. We went to bed. And then I feel like I was good for the whole time. Like, I would get tired in the middle of the day, but then I would recover. And then coming home, I feel like we adjusted, like, instantly. What about you? Sorry, I lost the place of this, and I was trying to recover. Jet lag, um, it wasn't bothering me while I was there, but I did feel like I woke up at 7 a.m. every day, and I went to bed at, like, 8 or 9 p.m. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's the same like if you go to Hawaii, you go to bed at like 7 p.m. because you're <laughs> tired. Yeah, but it does help you there to be early, especially at Disney. Yeah, so that we had that to our advantage. Like yeah. we were up every morning at like 6.30, ready to go. Yeah. 
Um, Jay Smith says, did you guys make it to Akihabara? No. In Tokyo? No, we didn't. We wanted to go there. Mm-hmm. It was on our list. We just didn't get a chance. Yeah. There was so much on our list that we didn't get to do. Public trans- transit was amazing. Loved it. Yeah. So easy, so convenient. So amazing. You literally just, we didn't even realize it until like <laughs> more than halfway through our visit because every time we'd like use the turnstiles at the subway, we'd click to, you know, you click twice to get your wallet up and we'd pick the card and we'd put it on the turnstile. And we just realized one day when I was going through like one of the monorail. You didn't monorail, have to do that. You just you literally, literally just put take your phone. your phone. You don't have to do anything. You just go like this with your phone and it works. And I was like, wow. Because there was like, especially like in the first few days, there was like, a, like I was holding up traffic. I'm like, hold on, let me pull it up. Like idiot. And then I'm like, we could have literally. Yeah. But so pro tip. <laughs> Rosa says rumor has it. The seven hour extended cut comes nope. out next month. There is no more. There is no I, more. I have Star good Cruiser news videos. for you. Rosa. There's already a 10 hour extended cut and it's split into 11 videos and you can find nope. it on ordinary adventures. Yep. YouTube. No more. There is no more star cruiser footage. You have seen it all. There is nothing you left to show. You have seen it all. You've seen the edited version. Yes. But, which is the preferred way to view it. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, Rose Gold Sugars here says the Godzilla Hotel you showed in State yeah, I was that so was cool. a that was a nice hotel. It was a great location. The room was awesome. The only complaint is I think this is just a Japan thing, but the beds were very firm. That was the case with every with yeah. all three hotels. We yeah. So I think that might just be maybe they're like firm mattresses there. I don't know. But our friend Kidder, we were talking to him, and he when he went to Japan, he stayed at an American hotel, like a. Ritz Carlson or Hilton, something like that. And he said that he didn't remember the bed being firm yeah. at all. So I, I'm guessing if you go to an American chain. Maybe. Hotel. Um, but yeah, that hotel was great. It was like right by the train station, right by a bunch of food. It was good. A theme Park Express is here. Everybody wish Theme Park Express <gasps> a happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, hopefully he's still here. <laughs> um, are we going to do a full merch haul vlog I don't think so I think we were initially thinking about doing it but I don't think we have you, you've there, seen what we have here stuff, but no everything that we haven't shown is literally just like stuffed animals okay <laughs> um, big time Timmy Jim says we were at Tokyo Disneyland <gasps> on the exact day and oh, never no. ran into you guys I'm sorry we missed you dang it we ran we were into running around. A, a bunch of ordinary adventurers, like I would say like two or three a day we ran into. Yeah, which was crazy. Even in Tokyo. That said, most of them were from California. All of them or were from, from the United States. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we, except for the, <laughs> the plane ride over, we, we never ran into a Japanese man. But we did get some comments that said like, yeah. oh, I saw you at Disneyland. Like I live in, I'm Japanese and whatever. And I saw you and I didn't say anything. So, so me, I was saying to her, I was like, maybe it's in their like culture not to like bother. Or I don't know. I like, are Japanese people really watching our videos? I don't think they are. I mean, maybe some of them are. I don't know. Are you getting a bidet now after experiencing it in Japan? <sighs> I wish. I've always wanted one. We don't have power on that side of the bathroom where the yeah, we'd have to get it installed yeah, somehow I, would I would love to because it was nice oh uh timmy jim ran into us at alani wow last year oh nice well at least we got to see you there yeah that's so <laughs> funny we're at the same places at the same time um oh dean says i found that out with my apple watch going to disney parks forgot to bring it up Bam it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I use it all the time. I oh, love the, it just works. It's almost like a magic band. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. It's cool. Um I feel like that would work too, like if you're using Apple Pay, like you probably just have to put your phone there and it knows. Oh, he is here. He's still here. And I caught oh. up. I think. <gasps> Did I really caught catch up? Wow. There's no way. Did you? Did he? Uh, Let us know. I don't believe it. Did we respond to this <laughs> person? I know someone asked us that, but I don't think we read that one, did we? Uh, so we, he had some family emergency, so we couldn't hang out. But we did randomly bump into him one of the days, which was so funny. Uh, Pillar asked, Kitra, love your Winnie the Pooh headband, by the way. 
Did you and Peter enjoy Japan Disney? What did you like most? Definitely on my list, though. We loved it. We absolutely loved it. It was perfection. All the cast members there are so Uh, happy. So nice. So nice. One of my favorite things, not to to interrupt, but like they really like waving there. So like (laughs) every ride, every, the train ride, the boat ride, when you're walking around, everybody is waving and everybody's excited to wave. You see people in the distance, they're waving. They have their little stuffed animal. Their stuffed animal is going like, they're going like this with their stuffed animal. It, it brought me to tears. It was just so freaking cute. And it made me so happy. Like it was just so. Everybody's so happy to be there. Everyone is just happy to be there. All the cast. And this is like all the guests, all the cast members, just everyone. You see someone, you wave and they like get excited and they wave back. Yeah. And I just thought that was really cute and like so wholesome. And like, I don't know. I just loved that. Anyways, what were you going to say? I'm sorry. Um, That was such a random thing to say, but I really liked that. It was, I'm going to miss that. I feel like it, next time we go to Disneyland, I'm going to start waving at people and see if anyone waves at me. What did I like most about Di- uh, Disney Tokyo? It's just like everything is the best version. Yeah. Almost everything is the best version of it. It's just so well maintained. You're not on any ride where there's an animatronic not working. Everything's incredible. Yeah. Their parades oh are my God. insane. So good. The They're- only thing that I think is not as good is the fireworks. Oh, yeah. The fireworks are like. The fireworks show is like three, three minutes. minutes long and there like is no theme and it's just like random fire. But besides that, everything else. But they have else, this water show at Disney Sea, oh my God. which was insane. Literally insane. It was like a combination of like Fantasmic and World of Color and like there was like fire on the water at one point. Like I don't even understand. Yeah. There was jet skis. It was crazy. Uh, Jesse says, thanks for all your entertaining content. You're great. Thank you so much, Jesse. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Gizmo. Um, I, uh, Sarah, thank you so much, says, I just took my girlfriend to Disneyland for the first time during Halloween. <gasps> fun. Oogie Boogie. Thanks for all your recommendations. She had a blast. Oh, my God. How fun. I oh. love Halloween at Disney. Yeah. That's so cool. I'm glad you guys had a good time. Oh, Jar Jar Bougie's here again. Uh, thank you, Jar Jar, says. <gasps> thank you. Wow. I meant to also say that I think the Star Cruiser is perhaps the best thing you've ever done. I think it was refreshing to dive into something so in depth and well covered. Thank you for sharing all of this. Oh, and those that didn't. Get, that means didn't get. so much. Yes, thank you so much. Seriously, that's really that was our our purpose, and we're glad that other people because you know sometimes you watch something and if you're not there, it's kind of like a disconnect. Yeah. So that means a lot. We really appreciate that. <laughs> and speaking of amazing cast members. Oh, like, my God. Yeah. Probably even bigger than Japan. The most amazing cast members. The cast and the crew of the Halcyon. And, like, I really wanted, like, I feel like this video really does them justice and spotlighting how incredible they oh are. Oh, my God. The yeah. best. Um, Ryan says, at the end of a ride, does it dump you out into a ride-specific gift shop? No. Sometimes. Monsters Inc. Uh, did that. Yeah, but it Boo. was. Oh, yeah. Some of them, but not always. Yeah. All of them have a ride specific gift shop. Like, But like the merch is just like generic. It's not like some like the Monsters Inc. one had some Monsters Inc. stuff, but it wasn't like for the ride. Yeah. And by you saying generic, that makes it sound like it's like just all the merch is Disney C exclusive or Disney Tokyo exclusive merch that you can't get here. It's all cute. It's all awesome. It's just not, um, you know, you'll go next to the Baymax ride and there'll be Baymax merch, but it's not. Actually, they had the ride vehicles. They had the ride vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Hope Star. Uh, Hopester. Hopester. <laughs> Hopester 94. Get it right. Uh, I think I caught Gizmo's off. okay. Um, he's, he likes to read dramatic when we ever we do a live stream. I feel like he doesn't cough all day and then we turn on the camera and he's like, yeah. he's a good boy. Have you guys been to club 33? We have. Yes. Uh, I've been one time. It was incredible. I've been twice. Uh, one time we talked about it on a live stream. So it's probably in our live stream playlist somewhere. So if you want to see photos and you want to hear what we thought of it, it's probably in the yeah, title because you can't, like film in there but you could take photos for some yeah. reason 
So we took a bunch of photos and we talked about it in a live stream. It was, it was fun. I'd love to go back one day. Jim and them says it makes me wave at us parks constantly. Now after going to Japan, <laughs> that's funny. I mean, I like to wave in general. So now I'm going to be more like I, next time we go did you see the designated smoking room for tokyo yes Disneyland? i didn't was, see it at the park i saw it at our hotel they had them at the park there what? was one i'm not sure where we they showed it it was in the aladdin area or like in oh. the arabian coast area really? it was right when you exit sinbad and you're like going by the bathroom there was like a smoking area room but it was like indoors yeah I it's think. weird yeah so that's interesting instead of being outdoors somewhere and there was a smoking room like in the hotels too. Um, Dean says, I wave at Florida, then get told I'm number one. <laughs> um, Craig, thank you so much, says, opinions on Disney's holes. Lots of love from Norway. Brian, Lynn, Austin. Are you talking Kitty. about the movie with Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. Loved that movie. I haven't watched it since. I think I've only seen it once. But it was a, it's a good movie. I remember movie. liking it. Now I feel like I want to rewatch it. Anthony wants to know, did you get to Harajuku? We did. That'll be our third video. So that will be coming not this next week, but the week after. Yeah. I'm editing that right now. Uh, it's going to be like more of like a foodie video. We tried a lot of foods. Yeah. Um, it was super cute. It was amazing. Yeah. It was great. I mean, all of Tokyo was great, yeah. but. Uh, Liz says, what's one thing in Japan that you wish you had in the U.S.? toilets <laughs> yeah. no um no the bathrooms 100 percent. the food the bathrooms the food at a 7-eleven i wish i had i guess that's two things the public restrooms tokyo disney sea that's my <laughs> that's my final answer trains a nice train system oh the, yes <laughs> um can you rank the friendliest of cast members in the parks you visited oh my god that's impossible uh, they were all no. amazing um did you try harajuku crepes yes we did amazing yeah so good all stuff there was real, really everything good. we had was good uh, what do you think the best part of the parade was <sighs> which one the, By the way, daytime they, parade or the nighttime they have a parade? nighttime parade which is kind of like the main street electrical parade but it's like On if crack. they made it today which i guess is what paint the night was it's supposed to be so but it's so much better than paint the night Sorry. good hot take it's well it's well, they play the Main Street Electrical song throughout the whole parade, yeah. but the floats are just like more elaborate and more detailed. God, that we I think we both cried after that parade because it was just so good. It was good. But the daytime parade was amazing too. Oh, God, they were so good. You want to read this one? Yeah. Our honeymoon in January will be our first trip to On the Wish, Fave Late Night Bite on the Boat. Hmm, late night. The problem with that is a lot of stuff has weird hours, but probably, what would you say? For late night? I feel like I your only options really, there's like a options. pub, but that's like you have to pay for it. But the food there was very good. Um, and then, of course, there's all the lounges and but stuff, but they that, don't really have food. Yeah. Um, there's like, I think like the pool deck, like the pizza place and stuff is open pretty late. Is it? But that's one of my nitpicks with Disney cruises. Like, I feel like everything kind of closes. Everything kind of closes. And like on Royal Caribbean, like the buffet is open super late. Yeah. Um, it's easier to find food. Um, I think Park Express asked if we fin uh, g fixed our premiere editing problem. No. Luckily, it's only isolated to that one project. So we finished the project and hopefully it doesn't happen again. Um. How hard was it to get the airport to Tokyo Disney? Well, we didn't go from the airport to Tokyo Disney. I actually went from the Tokyo Disney to the airport. I think it's about an hour away. You could take a train yeah. or you could take a car. But um, for just from going downtown Tokyo to Tokyo Disney, it only took us like 45 minutes. But we took an Uber. But yeah. still, it's very close. And then like uh, when we had to go to the airport on the final day, it also took only like 40 minutes. I thought it was going to take way longer for some reason. Yeah. Uh, did you oh, see room service, Chris oh, Kidder with the oh, hot yeah. take. Room service, uh, hot take though. I don't really like the room service on Disney. I feel like mm. the food's not that good. But yes, room service is included and it's free on the Disney cruise. Did you see the Gundam? We didn't. It was in an no. area that we didn't get to. 
Did we go to the pig cafe? We were conflicted with going to any no, of the animal cafes. we didn't do any animal cafes. In uh, Harajuku, Her- there was like this otter cafe. But I don't know. It felt like weird. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We just didn't. We were thinking about doing like a, a dog cafe or something because that feels better. But we just didn't have the time. Yeah. Um. Did you purchase a Duffy? No, I already had a Duffy at home. <laughs> but you did purchase Duffy stuff. Yes, I got little keychains, but that's about it. Did you guys experience a cast member high five tunnel? No. Oh, oh yes. One day. We did? One day we're walking into Tokyo Disney. It was just two cast members. Uh, but they had like a banner, like they were holding the banner and I went under the banner. Oh, that's a high five tunnel? Oh, I don't know. Oh, high five? T- I don't know. But they were like, it was like a tunnel and I went through it. Yeah. Yeah, I remember doing that. Uh, Wallace, thank you so much. I love y'all's content. I always watch the new vids. Um, how do you pronounce that name? Uh, I'm not sure. As I don't want to mispronounce it, so I'm not going to say it. It says Peter shows us that. Oh, okay. Interesting. What? Interesting comment. <laughs> okay, then. Um. You're like, you read it. Thanks. I didn't read the thing. Like, I don't can you know. Read it? I don't know. Well, thank you, Amanda. Um <laughs> uh, small. Hold on. Did you guys check out any Zakayas in Japan. I think that's that's where they have the. Um, Those are like the bars. That's what, like the bars oh. there. I think, or like a like a. Sp- I mean, we pub. were at like a yakitori, like uh, like one of the ones in that um, that little street. What is it called? Golden Guy or whatever. Isn't that oh. izakaya? They have beer and they have like. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh yeah, so. maybe. Maybe we did. <laughs> Gizmo, please. Yeah. Can you stop. Which one was your favorite gu- ride at Tokyo Disneyland? Mm. Tokyo Disneyland or Tokyo Disney Sea? Tokyo Disneyland, probably Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, probably Beauty and the Beast or Pooh's Honey Hunt. Tokyo Disney Sea, probably Sinbad or Journey, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Me, but Sinbad would be a close second. Um, and you'll see all this in our videos coming up because we got to film a lot of stuff. You will be amazed how cute these rides are. John O, thank you so much. Says, who cried more at Disneyland Tokyo, Kitra or Amanda from Pro Sports? <laughs> um, I cried quite a lot. And we probably were equal. <laughs> uh, Melting Sage, thank you so much. Says, are there any Japan, Japan-based YouTubers you'd like to Ooh. collab with in the future? Would you love to see you both on Trash Taste Podcast. What's that? I haven't watched that. Uh, we'd want to collab with um, Chris from Tokyo Disney. Explorer. Yeah, we don't really know any Japanese uh, YouTubers. No, we watch a or couple. Or we watch some. You're right. Tokyo. Um, oh, yeah. What's the name of that channel? I don't remember. Um, but, yeah, probably just TDR. We were hoping that, like, he could be in one of our videos when we were there. But, like I said, we couldn't make it happen. Yeah. We we watched a lot of like Tokyo videos when we were trying to prep for stuff. Uh, we watched Tokyo Creative had a lot of good videos. I know she's not from Japan, but Catherine K did a couple visits to Japan that were good. And Cakes with Faces, also not from Japan. We watched more than that. There's too. a lot of like yeah. Australian people. Or Australian people that are like do there's a lot of Australian people. No, no, that that do like they <laughs> have a channel on Japan. There's also a lot of Australian spiders. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Abroad in Japan is a good one. Tokyo Lens. Okay, we'll have to check those out. John or O says our Carnival Cruise had a midnight buffet too. The pizza and burger <gasps> place for twenty. Yum. Yeah, Royal, they have a pizza place. Yeah, Disney, a lot of stuff like closes down, (laughs) except for room service. How was your hotel experience at Disney? Did you stay at the same hotel or hotel hop? 
We we went to Miracosta and Toy Story. And yeah, so we good. stayed at Miracosta and Toy Story. They were both great. Yeah. Uh, we recommend. Have, yeah. Uh, Toy Story, the only complaint is they don't have a lot of storage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Amanda, thank you so much. Excited to watch your Japan vlogs along with Mammoth Clubs. Also, Kitra, I love the Pooh Barriers. Thank you. I know. I'm excited to watch Mammoth Clubs videos as well. We've watched the first two. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see like what they did and their takes on things compared to what we did. Um. Hold on one second. Uh, Jar Jar's here again. I just have to clarify that I love Kitra's editing too. Best on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. That's so nice of you. She's the that's best. That's honestly editor. the best compliment anyone could give me. <laughs> like that's just so, I don't know, that's nice. Because I'm definitely not. <laughs> Did you guys look at doing a Mario Kart tour? No. No. Uh, I don't think I could have done it because I don't have a driver's license. I think you need an international driver's license too. Really? No, think, Christina no? did it. She doesn't have an international. I think you're supposed to. Oh, oh. interesting. Um, I'm trying to find a comment here. Here's one from Erin. Do you want to read this? Gizmo. So thrilled you made it to Japan. Give the fur babies a hug. I'm sure they're, they miss you. So excited to see Japan content. Take care. Thank you, Erin. Gizmo, does that mean you need to come over here? I feel like Gizmo's annoyed that we're not paying attention yeah, to him. Yeah, I think that's what's Like, he's on. literally sitting right here, and every time I look at him, he stops coughing. What, what, Come here. What's the and final? his tail is, like, going like this. What's the final cute count? Oh. Okay, so in tomorrow's video, spoiler alert, there's a cute count. I think I might have missed one, so. There's another cute count? Oh, in tomorrow's video. Yeah. Wait, did we do a cute count in the last one? No, we didn't. How no, but it's what? on Patreon. Oh, okay. I was like wondering how they knew. I was yeah. confused. Um, I think there's like 30 maybe. But see, I'm editing the next video and I also say I also say that word a lot. And I'm like, should I do it again? But I feel like that's repetitive, so I'm not going to. Yeah. But we, we usually do that because it annoys us. So yeah. we like when put I'm a spotlight editing, on I'm like, it. wow, I'm annoying. I have no other word to describe something besides calling it cute. So I'm going to put a cute count and every time I say it, it'll be funny. But that being said, I probably missed one because I always do. Uh, thank you so much, Jennifer. Um, Gizmo. Did you get anything from Tokyo for Gizmo or Pixel? No, we didn't. We should have. How easy was it to navigate and traverse Japan? Was language a barrier a big issue? Uh, we kind of talked about this earlier, but um, a lot of people did not speak English. Uh, it didn't become a huge issue. We just used Google Translate. Yeah. Are you blurry? Am I? I don't know. Did someone say know. I was blurry? No, I just like looked and like every time I looked at you, you were like sitting so far back, you looked blurry. But I might need it's glasses. Possible. I don't know. It's possible. Um, oh no. Were you blurry this whole time? <laughs> I know, uh, Kidder, do you want to answer this question? Did you eat at any... <laughs> are we going to be honest about this? Yes. Did you eat at any American chain restaurants in Japan? Why and, would we not be honest? And try any... Because it's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so when we're in Tokyo proper, we ate authentic. We went yeah. to little hole-in-the-wall places every single day. When we got to Disney, there was two occasions where we were just very hungry. It was days when we weren't filming. We went to like the downtown Disney and we just, we, what did we, where did, what did we do, Peter? You want to? We ate at Outback Steakhouse. We ate at Outback Steakhouse, yeah. which was surprisingly good. My favorite we were, thing we at were, Outback we is their craving, salad. We were just craving like American food. Just something easy, yeah. not complicated. Like just, okay, we'll go here. We'll get this. I just really wanted a salad with like yeah. ranch dressing because I'm a whatever. And it was so good. It hit the spot. We just wanted a bloom and onion hit the spot. Yeah. So it, it was kind of like the, the difference of like we had already left the parks and it was like we we're at our hotel and the restaurant and the hotel, you, you you need reservations for. Yeah. So we could go so it's down like to. it's like hard to find food. There's a convenience store in the hotel. So we decided to go to I Xperi, which is like their downtown Disney, but it's not as cool as downtown Disney. Or Disney and there Space. was a lot of different food choices. There were but a lot choices were, there, yeah. but I was just like, you know what? We walked around for like an hour and we're like, should yeah. we just go to Outback? <laughs> so we went to Outback. Yeah. 
Um, glad uh, Jennifer says, glad you enjoyed Tokyo Disney. We were just there leaving today. Oh, well, hope, hope you had, you had a, fun a great time. time. Someone well, says, did you go to McDonald's? We actually did go to McDonald's. That's going to be as in well. our next video or the not, video after yeah. next or the next Tokyo video yeah. <laughs> video after the next one. Yeah. Uh, like it is that here. Said, no sense. If you could describe Disney Tokyo in three words, what Ooh. would you say? Epic. Kawaii. Yeah. What would the third word be? Happy. Happy, happy. Happy, happy. <laughs> okay, so every morning, a million people line up to get in. And there's like cast members out there, and they just like, I don't know what they were saying, but they would just be like, happy, happy, happy. And then like everybody who was waiting would be like, happy 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 and like the whole crowd would just be like happy happy we're so happy like like and that was like the only thing i understood and i was like it made me cry like it was just so cute like i was like this is amazing everyone is so happy mom bear uh asked gives them a pixel get any souvenirs from japan no i already answered that they didn't they got these two nope. uh nope nope gizmo <laughs> he has peter i didn't drop it you're the one that dropped it Okay, so much. Uh, th thank you so much, Deborah. Come here. Come here. You get more headband slash Mickey ears. Um, so got I lot. got these two that I... No, I didn't get that many. Mm -hmm. I got these three, and then I got two more. So I got five total. They're so cheap. Yeah. Um, sounds here. like Gizmo's building a time machine or something. He, like, really is, I think, annoyed that we're live streaming. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Cody, thank you so much. Did you guys eat a dish called... Happy, happy, happy. You katsu? Happy, happy. We had tonkatsu. I don't know what that is. Tonkatsu was was so good. Yeah. Uh, I changed my boyfriend's... Okay, we're going to have to add that to the list because if that's not something... Let me look that up. Yeah, look that up. I don't know what that is. I have regrets because like we were just like never hungry when we were in Tokyo and like I just feel like we didn't besides like our Harajuku day where we ate a lot even that day like at the end of the day I was like oh I'm so full yeah okay um Ali is here uh it's in a super sticker of a Shiba dog squeezing a big red heart thank you so much Ali oh thank you oh Shiba yeah that's the Japanese dog Ooh, so yeah, we did, we had, it looks like this is like the breaded, but it looks like it's beef or steak or something. Oh, we so, had pork. Yeah, pork. I think. Yeah, I think or it was chicken. pork. It was pork. Yeah. That looks good. Jay Smith says, how many days did you get in Japan after jet lag? I don't We, we, after that first night that we flew in, we were fine. We had three days after that. I think it was just that like our schedule had now been like wake up at 6 a.m. Go to bed at like 8 p.m. <laughs> so it's not jet lag. It's just like we're on a different yeah. time. Table. Which I was like I said earlier, I was worried. I was like scared that I was just going to be miserable the whole time, like tired. But we we conquered it. Did you bring back any melon no, soda? We no, we were thinking about that. But I was like, could that go on a plane or will it explode with the high pressure? I'm not even sure we could bring it. Oh back. yeah, maybe I don't not. Know. Actually, you probably could. But I, I'm I've been looking up how to get Fanta melon because I've had melon soda before. I've had that um the one that's in the glass bottle and has like a little glass ball on the top. What is that mm -hmm. called? I don't know. Rum rum moon. Yeah, or something I don't know. Like that. Um, and that melon soda is good, but I like the Fanta. Well, mm. and I don't oh think my good. god it was so good you guys yeah. so good like the perfect meal at tokyo disney if you need a pro tip go to the hungry bear restaurant get the tonkatsu curry uh, get a side of cheese dump the cheese on it you don't even need no nope. get a beer the beer is only like four dollars get a beer get a fanta melon and get a side of those corn chips <laughs> And that is the perfect meal that you will have at Tokyo. And then once you're done, go to the World Bazaar or whatever it's called and get the Mickey waffle. No? Yeah. Is that not the perfect? And then go get like some popcorn. The one thing I wasn't expecting to come out of Japan loving 
like I was like, oh, I'm gonna love the ramen, or I'm gonna love the you know katsu, or I'm gonna love the sushi or something. But the thing I wasn't expecting was curry, Japanese curry. Japanese curry is so good. I fell in love with Japanese curry. Yeah, we both did. Um. <laughs> now he doesn't even want to be up here. Uh. R2 says, I heard some small mom and pop shops and food places only take yen. How yeah. much would you recommend a week for a week trip? I don't know how much for a week trip. I would tell you that you can take take out yen at a like ATM, like at any 7-Eleven. Yeah. So no one's everywhere. So I would just like, you know, take out a hundred and have a hundred or not a hundred. Um, what's the 10,000? Yeah, 10,000 yen. Yeah, which is like equivalent to like 100 bucks. Yeah, so take that out, have it on you, and then like if you ever need more, just go to 7-Eleven. And there was like one time where we went to a restaurant and we were like barely short <laughs> with the money. And they were like, oh, they were like, there's a 7-Eleven and they like showed me exactly where it was. Or like to go to it an ATM. It was funny though. We were like, like 40 yen off. Yeah, I was like, can they just take it without, <laughs> but I, we had to go take yeah. out more money. It was funny. Um... Uh, how many lunch do you have? Lots. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve's here. You guys try any strawberries in Japan? The only strawberries that we tried were those candied strawberries, which were amazing. Amazing. Delicious. Um, yeah, people agree. Japanese curry is bomb. Uh, weirdest snack that you expected to hate but loved. Hmm. There was anything I ex- in Disney or just in general? In general, I don't know. Nothing really that I expected to hate. There was stuff I, that I expected to like and didn't like, but like what? Um, whatever we had at the it all blends together, so it's hard to remember exactly what I had. But what we had in the big uh, in the American waterfront that meal. Oh, yeah. What was that? I don't remember. A chicken sandwich or something? Wasn't it like a spicy chicken sandwich yeah, or something? something? I don't know. It was like, oh, this is going to be there no was, brainer. I got like a hamburger casserole. Because <laughs> we were so hungry. And it was like the closest restaurant. Would not recommend that restaurant. Actually, they have fried chicken there. And apparently the fried chicken is good. But we didn't get that. Um, but that was like, I was like, ooh, a cheeseburger casserole. It was weird. There was like potatoes in it. And like cheese whiz like it was very strange coco curry is a chain kate says that we need to try it i wonder I know. Is, is there one around here there yeah, must be i think so we need to go because i'm craving japanese curry mm-hmm. i think there was even coco curry like in japan we almost went there that one yeah day. and then i was like this is a chain that's in and America. i was like, I was like so <laughs> and you're like i don't want to eat a chain i was like okay no because we're filming it for especially we we're filming it for a video i was like i want like this to be, be like an authentic meal Kitra is loud. Peter's quiet. Oh, no. Am quiet? I too loud? <laughs> it's only one person saying it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, new, unique New York. Oh, no. Unique <laughs> New York. You can get melon soda at any Japanese grocery store. Um, there are a bunch. Yeah, but is, is it Fanta melon? Because I want the Fanta melon. And also melon that, that requires us to go to... Yeah. Go somewhere and get it. But you're right. I actually, we should go to a Japanese yeah. store and see what they got. Uh, which ride at Tokyo Disney do you wish was in the U.S.? Monsters, <laughs> Inc. Journey to Center. The Journey, Earth. Yeah. yeah. Journey, Pooh's Honey Hunt, Beauty and the Beast. By the way, Pooh's Sinbad. Honey Hunt came out like. <laughs> Aquatopia. Over 20 years ago. It was like one of the first oh, trackless okay. rides. And it's still better than almost any trackless ride, except for, you know, Rise of the Resistance, obviously. Yeah. Want a new toy? Want a new toy? Someone says, 500 bucks worth lasts me two weeks. Okay. Everything's kind of, ch- especially right now, everything's kind of cheap. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chris, thank you so much. We are going to all three Disney parks in asia next summer can't wow. wait any insights on hong kong and shanghai we've never been i don't know much about it so i, I unfortunately cannot give yeah you any. we'd love to go one day have a great time i'm jealous 
That'll be fun. Yes, we want to go. Wish we could. But I would recommend check out our friend TDR Explorer on YouTube. He has a bunch of. I think he has at least Hong Kong videos. I don't know if he has Shanghai, but I think he's he's going for Frozen. Yeah, he's the expert. Yeah. Uh, Big time Timmy says, "Please tell me you both tried the Shrine Muscat." No. No, I, this is the first hearing about that. I wonder, I'm going to have to look that we up. We didn't have a chance to go in like a real grocery store. Like we kind of just went in 7-Eleven and that was it. Yeah. I'm intrigued though. Tell me more. Someone <laughs> says, hmm, it appears Gizmo's cough has gone away. Yeah, you think? Yeah, because he's a drama queen. Hmm, interesting. He's like, where's my dinner? <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian says I don't want to go to that chain Proceeds to eat it out back Okay we Adrian, the, the, ever Because listen This was not on a day that we only had three days in Tokyo So I didn't want to In the actual city of Tokyo not yeah, at This Disney. was a day that we weren't filming yeah. It was a tr- like we were going to the hotel It was like just a chill day We are checking into a hotel Yeah um, mm. And Normally, like I'm no judgment to anyone because I get it. Trust me. I get it. We did it. Um, But like usually when I'm somewhere like I don't want to go to a chain. I want to like experience the food of the place that I'm at. But we just we couldn't resist. It just we were so hungry. We just really were like, let's just go in, get one blooming onion, split it. The thing that sucks too is we yeah. went in and then they were they sold out of the, the blooming onion. onion. We had to get blooming petals. Bloom petals are BS. Which is just basically a plate with like. The, like, I think they probably already have them frozen and they just heat them up. Yeah. As opposed to the onion where they actually cut it and they dip it. And then but like, I got my salad. I got my salad and it was good. So that's all I wanted. <laughs> like it is, says Gizmo loves his spotlight. Oh, he's a good boy. Um, yeah. One this in three minutes. Cammy, thank you so much. Says I visited LA for the first time a few weeks ago and loved it. I watched Killers <gasps> of Far Moon. Oh, I can't wait. We're so behind on movies. No, we haven't seen it we yet. We haven't seen it yet. I love Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio, and um, Scorsese's movies are usually pretty good, so I'm excited. We should have done that this weekend, this past weekend, but we, now we can't do it. <laughs> we could do it tomorrow. I mean, that's it's like yeah. three and a half hours, though. And yeah. we still haven't even seen the Taylor Swift Eras Tour movie. And we did see it. We saw the, the original Would version Would you go with it. me to see it again? If you want me to, I will. You can know all the words. You'll be like, no. in the middle of the night, in my dreams. Ooh. <laughs> uh, What's your favorite Taylor Swift song? Do you even know what any of them are called? Probably the Karma one. Probably the Karma one? Uh, That's a good one. Yeah, I don't know. Probably the Karma <laughs> one. Um, people want to hear the Pixel and Gizmo theme song. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay, here's uh, Gizmo's one. He's not the brightest crown in the box, but he's the goodest boy in the biz. Oh, Gizmo is the giziest whiz. He's the giz whiz. He is, is, is. She doesn't trust the government, she's scared of her fox. There's no limit to the things she's afraid of. Oh, Pixel is the Pixel She's like, be out. We love the Pixel, we love the puppy. She is the girl that we love. Stop being mean to Pixel. <laughs> uh, oh no, I forget how to get out uh, oh of Oh my god, this. not again. I oh, know. Can they hear us? Uh, I think so. Can you hear us? <laughs> uh. There we go. Oh, we're st- we're unmuted. I, I don't know why I forgot how to do that. Every time. Yeah. Every time you think, did you like your song? I think we need to get do a remix and be like, I like to cough during the live stream to get attention from BPM my family. BPM one twenty four said, finally, my partner and I have always wanted to see Disney Sea through your eyes. Watching your last video took us back to so many fond memories. <gasps> oh. Arigato. Oh, wow. Congrats, you guys. We can't wait for you to see our videos, too. Yeah. We I'm can't wait so to share it all. I'm so excited for you guys to see everything. I, I hope our videos are good. 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> we were just having a blast. We were very in the moment, so like, I don't even I, remember what we were recording. No, you know what I mean, like, I no. don't remember. No, me either. But yeah, uh, Hannah, thank you so much again. Um, Carmen says, I think you says, uh, love you guys. Are you going to do a video covering the new Palm Breeze bar at the UC tower? We have a reservation for the Disneyland Villa. Not anytime soon. Yeah. Not for a couple months. Yeah. Um, so when we go there, we'll, we'll definitely yeah. go to the bar, but unfortunately not anytime soon, but I have heard from some friends that is pretty good. So I'm excited. Uh, I, I want to try it. I really yeah. do want to try it. I always love when new food and drinks come to Disney. Yeah. The thing, here's the thing. I love, like, we go to the park so often that we've ridden all the rides a billion times. So for me, I love new stuff. And new stuff is, like, usually the food, the entertainment. Do you know what I mean? Like merch. We, yeah, we, we've already experienced Small World a billion times. So it's like, yeah, merch. So it's... I don't know why I'm going off on this rant. I don't either. Yeah, what sorry. was your point? I don't know. I just get excited about new food. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We have but a whole YouTube channel about it. It was cool to be able to go to a park where it was like everything, everything was, was new. new. That's what I love about traveling. It's just like the excitement. And I'm sorry if I come across annoying in the videos, but I just was so Everybody says that you don't. So. Yeah, well, I'm, I am. I edit myself and I'm just like, oh my God, shut up. <laughs> Like, we get it. You're excited. Um, but that's what I love about traveling and like going to new places and everything was new. And it was just su such a fun experience. Are there things that you think the U.S. parks do better than Japan parks? No, yes, they're, they're cleaner. You know, U.S. parks. Oh, the U.S. parks do better than Japan. Food. But I think the food is just our taste. Yeah. I think the Japanese culture likes the food there. Do they? I think they do. Mm. Um, better. Probably like the fireworks, for sure. Um, the merch, the no. variety of the different merch, always something new. The downtown I, Disney, the Disney Springs. I think for the most part, Japan does everything better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Japan's just so good. I think like the character interactions are, at least at Disneyland, are better. Because a lot of the characters there, like they have some characters roaming around, but a lot of them you have to like, they have like one character and you have to like stand in line to meet them. No? I don't yeah. know. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... Oh, here's one. The one uh, here's something that grinds my gears about Japan. Yeah, sh give us your hot take. Is in Disney Sea, so they don't have the train. They have a waterway. That is a boat that takes you oh, all around this is the so thing. Random. And when you get on the boat, you need to get off at every stop. So if you're like using the boat to get to the other side of the park, you need to get off and then get back in line. It's like mm, not like the Disneyland that's train. That's a little bit annoying. I agree. So I think they do the transportation in the park better no okay yeah maybe although the train in tokyo disneyland doesn't even have stops it just goes in one loop around uh western land mm -hmm. and uh, which was awesome that yeah. was a fun little train it was but it, like you don't use it to like get any like it's it just a ride. ride yeah yeah anyways japan's awesome but uh okay we we should call it tonight we gotta get food yeah, we do. We give them food, and then we gotta get food. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We were gonna talk about our holiday plans, but I guess we didn't even get to that. Yeah. So maybe we should change the title when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we said well, that we're gonna have some we'll holiday just parties. Look forward stuff to later it. this week. We're gonna do some like Disney World holiday parties that we've never been to before. So that's gonna be fun. And then we'll have a million more Japan videos. Yeah. And then hopefully, when we come I back, hope you like the Japan videos because we have a million more. Yeah, we've got a lot more. We have, okay, we have one, two. We have two more from Tokyo. Two more from Or we Tokyo. have, one, no, including tomorrow's three, three more, more from, from Tokyo. Tokyo. We have one that's kind of like a travel day where we go to our Disney hotel. So that's four. Miracosta Hotel and, so and uh, put your finger up. Experi. Four. 
Uh, and then we have our D- Disney Sea. Yep. Disneyland. Then we have another Disney Sea. Another, another Disneyland. Disneyland. We have a Duffy, Duffy video at Disney Sea. And then we also have like checking into the Toy Story Hotel. So we got 10 more Tokyo <laughs> Japan videos. Uh, yeah. So we got a lot coming. We do. We're also going to intersplice stuff with some stuff from here in Florida too. Yeah. So. so it might not be like consistently Japan, but we'll try our best. Yeah. But there are, and then we're like going to, <laughs> we're going back to Alani. So we're going to have some like yeah. Hawaii That's videos. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know how much we're going to film of that. Yeah. Let's we'll figure it out. We're not going to do like every single day there. Yeah. Um, but anyways, thanks for hanging out with us. I yeah. appreciate it. Every time you guys show up to our live streams, it makes me like humbled and like appreciative that you guys even care to like sit with us and talk. There was like two thousand over two thousand people in here at some points. That's a lot. It's but crazy. We hope we were helpful and we answered any questions that you guys have. And like we said, we have a lot more videos, including one tomorrow. So get excited. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Our friend Ashley over at Mouse Vibes just recently did this video on uh Paris, Disneyland, or no, actually going, well, it's everything in Paris, right? Like how to travel to Paris, Disneyland, Paris, all the, all the like things you need to know. And, um, I want to do something like that with Japan at some point. Yeah. I don't know when that'll be I feel like I want to help the people that were like us that were so overwhelmed Mm -hmm. because it's very easy. Yeah. And I feel like I can explain it so simple. Yeah. I don't know when that video would be coming out, but maybe at some point. (laughs) Yeah. I also like made a list on my phone of like things that surprised me about Japan. And we touched on a couple of them tonight, but we didn't really. You want to bust out the list? No, no. No? Okay. We'll we'll get to that at some point. But okay. Anyways, thank you all for joining us. And uh, you guys are the best and get excited for our video tomorrow. It's a fun one. Yeah. What can we uh, tease them with about the video tomorrow? Yes, well. We see furry robots. We meet some furry robots. <laughs> Why are you gonna call? I guess they were furry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We met some robots because I think that's what's interesting about them. They're not like normally robots are like metal or plastic, yeah. but these were like furry. They were cute, cute robots. Um, tomorrow is truly like a a Japan like a it's a cute video. We do a lot of cute things. We go to a Disney pop up restaurant. Or it's yeah. not even a pop up. It's a we go to like a Disney restaurant, not a Disney. It yeah. was very interesting. Yeah. We go to like this thing called Shibuya Sky, which is like basically like the Empire State, but like a like an observatory. Like you go up and you get views of the city. That was incredible. Yeah. What else do we do? Uh, we go to a bunch of the stores, like Nintendo Store. Yeah. The Pokemon Store. So it was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed it. So hopefully you oh, and 7-Eleven food. We eat 7-Eleven yeah. food. It was a good day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good night or okay. goodbye. Yes. Well, th- thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. Bye.